Oh, Sammy's doing tonight. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure Sam is. Uh, he is doing the super white person. Uh, wine and dine his wife, I would bet. If I well, you life. know that. I, I don't even have to ask what Thad's doing. <laughs> oh, Thad is doing married people stuff. He's probably got like the whole bed of roses, candlelight. <laughs> yep. Yeah, probably so. He's got that saxophone playing on the radio. <laughs> you got some Barry White going. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right. Well, we have a couple people watching. Seriously, y'all got like y'all need lives. That was so fast. You're instantly you're instantly watching, and we're losers. Yeah. All right, Tim Gunderson. What's up, Tim? He's watching. Blake Corbett. Blake Corbett's got no life, so of course he's watching. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, so welcome, Daylight Burners. I hope everybody is, uh, well, if you're watching this, you're obviously not getting late on Valentine's Day. So, uh, or uh, married. (laughs) <laughs> yeah or married join the club uh one of the two it's uh it's very exclusive um only kids are asleep with the wife <laughs> only requirements uh for me is some some buckskins this is kind of buckskin that's buckskin ish and uh yeah it's uh it's been uh been a good day today I've, i haven't done shit i uh I had uh, I spent most of the morning trying to retrieve the the R.W. Hampton video. Um, if you listen to it on the the audio today, uh, you'll know that I, I lost uh, the full episode for some reason. Uh, Facebook set it to expire as soon as we ended the the live show, so I don't know what that was all about. But anyhow, I was able to recover most of it, but. That's what I and is, my morning do it. And is tradition anytime you get anybody on uh, with any significance, you tend to lose the audio. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah. Hell, at least it wasn't for two weeks this time. Bill, Bill yeah. was, a, that was a two week deal. But um, yeah, anyhow, we still got most of the the conversation with, with RW. Uh, got it up and going. So uh, I was glad. I was glad to come on. He came on. That was a good, good conversation. He's a cool guy. See you, Yeah, Bally. he's really cool. Yeah, you should probably uh, got you should need, you need to get him with his wife on. I think she's probably a character too. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I, she's the one that I, I well, I, I talked to our Debbie there in Elko. Uh, we were both waiting for a table at the Star on Thursday night, and I, I talked to him. That's when I, I got his card, and that was the first time during that weekend when i realized i was a just a rank fucking amateur bye amy um because i didn't have any business cards but uh i was continually reminded about it as uh the weekend wore on but we're getting that remedied uh but anyway i I talked to our w there and then he gave me his cards i talked to my wife she knows how to do all that stuff and then i just i talked to her the whole time i'm getting it all set up but Guy was true to his word and um, cool guy. He, he's welcome back anytime. I, I enjoyed talking to him. Yeah, he seemed like it. He seemed like he's. <laughs> and it, you know, it's funny is you've had a few different people on that come from roots that weren't real ranching. Yep. And then they 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 change the course of the history of their family. Well, it just, is... uh, it's just it's a different type of mindset, you know, like. Uh, well, and ever since the very beginning, when people moved out west, uh, you know, it was just a different type of person that did that. You know, they're always looking for something else, and uh, yeah. kind of the type of people that don't like to, uh, you know, they don't like to set down roots. Really, they, they like to do anything you want. Oh, Tim's on. Uh, Tim, you want to join in? He's not answering, but I'll send him a, an invite. 
I wonder why he's not whining and dying and his wife. Because they're married. They know Probably. better. It's a Hallmark holiday, people. Yeah. Don't, he, uh, don't buy into the system. He just sent me a bunch of uh, middle fingers. He's very, <laughs> very rude, Tim. That's not nice, Tim. It's not nice at all. Um, and we're we're very polite people. We don't we don't believe in all that nonsense. Less you deserve better. Or yeah, or you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Haley said their connection's too bad. Couldn't couldn't get it to work. So well, Haley's a flake. She's been talked about many times. She never comments. She never comes on. <laughs> this is going to be the fourth podcast where I talk shit, and I'm going to keep doing it till she comes on or acknowledges that we've uh, acknowledged her. <laughs> Tim just says, yes, she does. It deserves better. <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at least he's honest. <laughs> yeah, I get it, Tim. No, I get it, man. Oh, so I, I guess uh, really the only topic I really uh, wanted to wanted to cover uh mostly just to um just to spite shiloh because he doesn't like the the political episodes but let's let's talk about uh old joe biden <laughs> well and shiloh is whining and dying his wife at the uh local uh dive there in pritchett tonight so <laughs> nice the old pirates cove or what it what do they call it? i don't even Something at, the, at like this that. point his wife bartends and i think his mother-in-law damn near runs the place Oh, like very recently. So it's like a real life version of the ranch. Yeah, you literally because I think you know the old man that owns that place. He had gotten to be so bad he couldn't really be there all the time. Mm. So I think it was basically like this is gonna have to shut down, except for like one night a week, or someone in the community is gonna have to step up. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that nice. i think they were like well that's that's our place to drink alcohol uh we gotta we gotta help well it's the only place so well and, and shallow's wife's only 20 oh that's right she is huh and so her being in there she probably gets pretty goddamn good tips from all them old goddamn nasty cowboys probably that's usually how that works yeah i think she does pretty well in there i mean i i, I get tons of tips when i from the nasty old cowboys when i attend bar but no you don't I, yeah, I do. No, you don't. It's weird. It's, you never have. It's, it's it's weird. Not even <laughs> once. <laughs> Tim said he's been drinking, so uh, but he's gonna yeah. try to join us in a minute. So have we, Tim. That's why we're here. Yeah. I uh, uh, yeah, I, I had pizza and wings. Hey, and, uh, uh, Tim, if if I wanted to hear shit profusely coming out of an asshole, I just go down to the truck stop. And hang out in the bathroom for a little bit so don't want to hear excuses man <laughs> we uh we were going to do a uh kind of a like a listener request type deal with uh oh some of the the best uh what do we, what you call it the Rex. Like horse, horse Rex and stuff, and uh, apparently everybody else has uh, has stuff to do on Valentine's Day, which I don't know why. Do big love. Valentine's Day is dumb, but yeah. Anyhow, um, we're gonna read a couple of them uh, here in a in a few minutes and give some reactions because there were some good ones. I uh, yeah, I was, some of them were pretty good, and and like I told you earlier, like mine, you know, I don't really. Well, I, I probably do if I think back, but it's been so long since I've done shit like that. But most of mine are just rodeo wrecks. Yeah. I mean, like like one, for instance, you know, you know, my dad passed here back in November. Um, but he always hated that I rode bulls. Fucking hated it. Um, you know, he started out a rancher, too, and then lost his ass that first fucking winter down there in uh, Morton County. Mm-hmm. And so after he, he lost his ass, he sold, he was 22, 21, 22. He sold all his cattle and it went to work for the pipeline company that year at 22 and worked there for 37 fucking years. That was his extent to ranch. And after he left the farm, um, 
but he he hated the rodeo and he's like i'll never come watch you ride and all that shit and and finally you know i had a rodeo in, up in uh colorado and it was only uh, it was a couple Hugo, hours wasn't it it was hugo which is about two or three hours from denver i think three hours isn't it uh no it's about an hour and a half uh from denver is it is it that close yeah well, it's, uh, it's like well maybe closer to two because it's like hour i hour think it's two to, to lyman and it's like another 15 to Hugo. right well so so this rodeo comes up and there was this kid out of scott city that Who's quite a bit younger than me, but you know, we rode, I had seen him at rodeos, and I was like, well, I'm not gonna fucking hit Hugo because it was one of them down weeks where there's not a lot going on, but uh-huh. Hugo was going on, and so I was like, well, I'm gonna hit up Hugo. And since we got nothing, and I was up on uh Sunday or no Saturday, I said, well, Friday we ain't got nothing going on near, so let's just go up Friday. I had our Capri rodeo camper in the back of my, my dually, uh huh. I said, we'll just go up there fucking Friday night, and you know, <laughs> no, most rodeos down here in Kansas. Or is it's a party? It's a good mm-hmm. fucking time. And I said we'll go up on a Friday <laughs> night, we'll party, and then we'll ride Saturday and we'll come back. Said, All right. So we head up there, and we get there, and uh, so we go grab some beers. We go behind the buck and shoes because they're riding the next night, and uh, all these fucking uh, rodeo officials come up to us behind the shoots, behind the shoots, which is usually like anything goes. I mean, back in the day, people were fucking snorting coke and shit back there. Yeah. And all I'm doing is drinking a Coors Light. And the committee comes around and is like, you can't be back here with alcohol. Uh, and I was like, well, okay, that's strange, but I'll dump it out or whatever. So we go toss the beers. And actually, there was a bunch of um, your people, back in county people there that night. Uh-huh. Uh, what's that old uh, black feller? Uh, uh, I forget his name. He's from Walsh. From Walsh? Or yeah. Springfield? Springfield or Walsh. He ran around with Caden all in. Oh, was it? Um... There was one, Matt. <laughs> there was one guy. I know. I'm trying to remember his name. Um, it was uh, Don Albert's grandson. Uh, right. Anyways, he yeah. he was doing, he did the ranch from. Mm-hmm. Well, so we're sitting back there. I'm like, all right, well, fuck you, motherfucker. So I, I didn't throw it out. I chugged it and threw the can away. And I saw him right after that. He bucked out and he took a fucking snooze fest. I mean, he lawn darted harder than I'd seen someone lawn dart in a long time, <laughs> face first. <laughs> and I, I went and I looked and so I kind of knew him. You know, I've seen him at Elkhart and all them rodeos. I knew him from back in county. I see him at Springfield. And so I, I start to climb the fence and I look over and he's in the dirt and the dirt's like blowing out from his mouth as he's going. <laughs> <laughs> He What's was out, Tim, but he was out fucking cold. Uh, but no, anyhow, I got, two, <clears throat> I got two things to say. Oh, geez, yeah, Robbie does really gay shit in truck stop bathrooms. Well, that's that's uh, <laughs> like a given, isn't it? Like if you're in a truck stop bathroom, it's a requirement to do something gay. Oh. Uh, uh, Tim, have you never heard of a glory hole? It's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, so when when you're the receiving end of the glory hole, you can pretend that it's a girl on the other side, but what do you do when you're the one sucking the dick? Um, do you pretend so you say, it, rece- you you say pretend receiving, it's though. chick's dick? You say receiving, so did you put your butthole up against the hole or your penis? I'm no, 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 no. When you, when, when you are through the glory hole, there's, you can imagine, there's an imagination. When you're on the receiving end on the other side there's no way to imagine that that chick is super hot also has a big dick <laughs> see I've, I've just never thought i've said that being, for years <laughs> i've never thought about being on the receiving end so like i just have this image of you I mean, like I, spreading your the other thing i wanted up to say was the whole, going, i'm a real man <laughs> yeah, <I don't> think, <laughs> jesus christ get a screenshot of that <laughs> The other thing I wanted to say is there's not black people in Walsh. There's one. I just there said was there's one. one. There, well, there was. I, no, I don't know where he's at now. nowadays. He's is his jail. name Token? <laughs> it was. Not anymore. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> From spring. Okay, so the one thing, when I went to Walsh one time, there's two things about Walsh. There's no black people 
and all the chicks are smoking hot, especially the ones in Springfield. That's debatable. Well, at least at the VFW that one night, they were smoking hot. Well, you you were there for uh, the only like big event of the year. Fair? Which, yeah, fair. Oh, well, yeah, that, that, they weren't from Springfield then. <laughs> No, 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 no. Uh, we walked into the VFW and it was like someone ripped the, uh, the like someone someone ripped the music, just stopped, and everyone looked at us and everyone knew we were not from that part of Colorado. Well, yeah, because everyone there knew everybody there. <laughs> except for you. <laughs> they all were sharing the same bloodline. We know, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's a, it's a strong bloodline. It's very thick. Uh, Tim, Tim, it's called line breeding. That's how you breed superior genetics. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, slack-jawed yokels. Yep. Oh. But I love them all. <laughs> <laughs> I I did uh, like your uh, your Valentine's post on. Well, everybody's valentine's post that, Jeez, that, that, that got that got uh that got crazy in a big hurry yeah that that's well, is this the second or third year we've been doing that well there was one year where aaron and i just sent a bunch of uh valentines to each other that were all hitler related and that got <laughs> out of control in a big hurry and then, um, I no, think it's been like four or five years now that we just send the most like disgusting things to each other, but we try and keep it as anti anti Semitic as we can. Yeah. So as anti Semitic as possible. <laughs> anti anti Semitic. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's just nothing but Jew memes. Unless good, it's to rob. The yeah. good Jew memes. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's given. I mean, <laughs> Well, Rob, Rob gets much worse just random text messages every single day from us. So that's true. That's true. <laughs> Which By is the way, I, did, I did love your episode with him uh, a couple weeks ago, McKinley. I thought it was pretty good. He uh, he's not nearly as uh, ridiculous when you actually talk to him as he is on Facebook. I <laughs> I just yeah, I was just waiting the entire episode for him to just go off on like everyone that's been on your show and he like he kept himself in check which i was very okay yeah, because look tim rob's a classy bitch he's a bitch but he's a classy bitch i will disagree with you he is a not classy bitch i have seen that guy <laughs> eat triscuits off the floor once <laughs> <laughs> well okay uh, his persona is a classy bitch <laughs> He's about as trashy as it gets. So, Rob is an indoor cat as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way I've ever heard that explained. He's Which an indoor because, cat. He's yeah. an indoor cat. You literally just called Rob an indoor pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh no, no, he's just an indoor and outdoor pussy. He's just an indoor cat. Yeah. <laughs> So, and this is all for everybody who thinks maybe we're giving Rob too much of a hard time. I say this stuff to him uh, in person too. I don't, I don't talk shit on anybody that on here that I wouldn't say in real life. So, um, yeah, like uh, our buddy Aaron, he he got a little mad at us one time because I I told him uh, beforehand uh, if he did have a chance to listen to episode that me and tim did i said we did talk a little shit but it's nothing that we wouldn't say in person and uh he got over it though he yeah yeah Aaron, you just gotta stroke that ego a little bit for a minute oh yeah and, and his dick well and uh, if you get mad fucking hop on the goddamn pod and go ahead and air your grievances <laughs> 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 we're we're gonna do a Festivus episode next year. Oh, we... Festivus! Uh. Dude, I had a uh, so you know like when I was mechanic at a shop, not with a corporate fucking company. Um, we'd get free uh, um, calendars every year. Well, there was one sh local shop that would give out a calendar that had fucking Festivus 
in the calendar. It <laughs> was dated and everything. Yeah. It was amazing. Oh, Time out, just there. Well, this is not going to go well. I fear where did, for us. Where did he go? I don't. That was abrupt. Are, are you just continually disappointing less? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a disappointing as hat. Oh, look at the shit. He got the five panel. Yep. Well, okay. Hey, Tim. Hey, Tim. Yeah. I want to say one thing. Matt proposed the five panel hat to me, and I told him, <laughs> bad idea, don't do it. And he said, I've been assured it'll fit right. And I said, they never do. Do what you want. It's Matt a, did what he wanted. It's an awesome logo. It's an yes. awesome hat. I was recently, like, within the last like two weeks or three weeks, I was sitting in the Oval Office and I had this hat and I was like, it looks retarded. I can't take a picture of it right now. <laughs> in the Oval Office. Oh, that'd well, awesome. uh, we will have you know that the new <laughs> I ones know. Are, they are six panel now. <laughs> yeah, the new one, yeah, you'll get a different one. It's, what, uh, you need, what you need is the same logo, but smaller and just off to the side. That's the originals were the one yeah. I have is. Yeah, well, fuck me, right? I, hey, drunk I, him, I drunkenly bought one on a podcast one night. <laughs> Tim, I get tired of saying I told you so, but it's just a thing I continually have to keep fucking saying. I'm really sick of having Robbie be right, Matt. <laughs> it's not it's not a good look. It's not a good look. Uh well, we're we're working on still. Still getting the, the whole merch thing ironed out. I uh, he should have just from the beginning said, Hey, uh, man, uh, I need help. Can you go ahead and fucking take care of this for me? And then you would have none of these issues. I do love that McKinley was like, I, uh, I, I, I'm not in charge of my merch, and I was like, Why not? He's like, Because I would have given it all away for free already. <laughs> I was like, okay. That would be pretty easy to do, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, and I just don't want to deal with it. I, I like to just spew a bunch of bullshit into the ethernet i i don't want to i don't want to actually have to sell anything <laughs> like i i want stuff to sell i just don't want to have to do it <laughs> well and, and his, his first deal was with a, a guy i'm pretty friendly with on another page that has quite a bit of following and and, and the deal was matt was going to send him the, or the design and this guy was going to sell them for him on his website and he's going to take half of matt's profit right off the top half of it half? and i was like no don't do that and i was like i was i would do that for you but i can't make myself fuck you that hard like that's how you dick lose dick all of your you margin it, it literally was but yeah <laughs> he did admit was wrong the kid yeah. was like yeah yeah i'm making it i'm making a dollar fifty off of this 17 dollar hat <laughs> basically is what it was <laughs> yeah it was something like that it was uh... and then the five panel i said no and he did it so all right so uh, i was wondering okay so i just saw that you guys were live on facebook and i wanted to talk shit what what are we talking about tonight well oh, we're... There, was, there was supposed to be a bunch of like badass like fucking cowboy wrecks and shit and everyone wow. fucking Those flakes so the we're just uh, i'm shit. here god damn it yeah. Well, yeah, that's what that's we're shooting the shit now. Yeah. I've never, I've never been on a horse, but I can talk cowboy shit. Good enough. I got a cowboy. I, I got a camo shirt on. Do you yeah. hunt? It says Chris Jansen, but so you don't hunt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I uh, I wanted to the only. The only thing we really had planned other than the people uh, that were supposed to tell their their good Calrex stories uh, was was Joe Biden. Joe Biden has uh, taken hey, a we, shit. Oh, wait. Well, we've seen it all seen it coming for a while. But now, oh, now it, he's calling people uh, lion dog face pony soldiers. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Oh, so good. I'm not even mad at him. That is awesome. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what that means. And then he's like, it's from a John Wayne movie. Oh, yeah, John Wayne, yeah. And I was so, like, well, 
Is it? Because I've seen a lot of John Wayne movies, probably all of them. The greatest, I don't remember the, that. <laughs> the greatest thing is that Biden walked into this like primary thinking he's just going to be the golden pony walk in. It's fucking over. He, and, he pulled a Hillary. <laughs> yeah. And he, oh my God. He, oh, okay. So he, he walked in thinking this was great. And then he gets his fucking just shit pushed in, in oh, every yeah. single caucus so far. And yeah, he ended up fifth in New Hampshire, which is a neighboring <laughs> state of his home state. <laughs> yeah, well, and this tried- is how you know that those motherfuckers have no idea what's going on around them because they're obviously getting told by their people we got this we got this and they go out and have all this confidence and then get their shit pushed in and and like we'll we'll get them we'll get them next time like how fucking foolish is that like how are you so out of touch with reality like honestly out of the entire race right now the only person that has a chance against trump right now is Klobuchar, and even then, all of them, Trump is just salivating. Like, I think, and I and I disagree. I I think that uh, I think Bernie has got the biggest shot, but will still lose painfully. Well, he's gonna get Trump, screwed out of it. Trump. Well, and that's the other part of it. If if okay, so yeah, let me backtrack. If he could get a little bit of backing by the party, or if he somehow slips by. He would have the best shot. He would get the most votes out of anybody right now, but he would still lose, like, in a landslide. This will be – okay, so there's about five states that always go blue. There's no problem, like, Mm -hmm. guaranteed. But the rest could honestly all go red. And then – and and the greatest thing ever is that if Bernie wins this thing – Trump just needs to get away from the MAGA and the CAG and just say, at least I'm not a fucking socialist. And that's his entire slogan, and he wins this so handily, it's ridiculous. Well, and, and here's here's the caveat is, uh, and so the Democrats ha- have put so much into trying to get Trump out. Instead of being smart and saying, how do we beat Trump? They said, how do we get Trump out? Which is a very bad business fucking plan oh, at the very horrible. minimum. Horrible. But here's what's really going to fuck them. Here's where they didn't even think about. Them going that fucking psychotic instead of changing policy to changing presidencies, they're going to lose the fucking house now. Yep. Hands oh, down. No. They went what they don't realize is here's where they're going to get fucked. Is now we're going to have the house and the Senate and we're going to have Trump's fucking ass as a president. So before we had the house and the Senate, but we had Obama. What happens? We have the House, the Senate, and Trump. It's probably gonna well, fucking happen. and and they've already impeached him and lost. So yeah, yeah. They, which they, they I can still see, I can still for, see him doing it again. They went for the bullshit uh, impeachment, which was lame. They had a they had a home run with the uh, killing Soleimani, but they they went with this other bullshit. Yep. If, if you go to kill the king and you miss. You're fucked, and mm-hmm. that's exactly what has happened. And well, I've, I've, me and Matt have had conversation on the side. I said, hey, I always kind of assume, even though I think they're fucking radical, that they're probably a little bit smarter than me. They know more about business and uh, and, and tactics. But I'm kind of taking that all back. I think they're fucking retarded because there was Matt has said it a hundred times. There's many impeachable offenses. Every goddamn president hit in the history of the United States has had impeachable offenses, but they picked on like the, the thing with the least amount of legs, the least yep. amount. <clears throat> I honestly, I, I always say everyone in Washington is smarter than Robbie, but they. <laughs> I was waiting for McKinley. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, nothing after they were smarter than Robbie. That's all I had. 
<laughs> I was ready. I was I was ready for the joke until you didn't have one, and now I, I didn't know have you're worthless. That's a piece of shit thing to say. Like it was, was it? gonna be funny until I know. you, didn't you have shouldn't. A fucking... have, you shouldn't have trailed off there. You should just. I, I, right I, was, there. <laughs> I thought I would get a laugh, and then I didn't have to have the rest of the sentence. But then that's the a bad premise. <laughs> He was twirling his weird mustache and like I was ready to laugh at myself till you had nothing and now I think you're a pathetic piece of shit. Right. Cut that out of the uh podcast. Fuck this me, is right? live, it's, bitch. it's live, man. <laughs> is anyone watching? Uh yeah, we got three viewers. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and they're all laughing at you, Tim. How many, how many of their how many how many viewers do we have before I said that horrible joke? <laughs> Three three Ten. viewers. <laughs> uh, th- these are the the folks that uh, obviously don't have anything lined up for uh, for Valentine's Day. So congratulations, you're not participating in a capitalist holiday. But yeah, where's your wife? Uh, she's talking to her sister. Doing yeah, the fucking dishes like a good woman. That's right. She is making me a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble now. Oh. <laughs> if so any of my friends had a wife that could kick their ass, it'd be McKinley. Uh, well, she doesn't have it. to. She is very sharp tongued. <laughs> but she does she's not also have to strike. The mouth, and that chick has got a mean right hook. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a joke. I'm not laughing. That happened. Uh, I think. Uh, well, Emily would, uh, she, she could definitely take Rob out. But I mean, that's also Rob wouldn't put up much of a fight. So, <laughs> yeah, because they're literally, uh, uh, what's their faces off of uh, How I Met Your Mother? Oh, yeah. Marshall and Lily. Ma- Marshall and Lily. That is the epitome of that is them. A tall, goofy fucker that's kind of liberal and a short, redheaded chick that like goes to the gun range. That's them <laughs> to a T. It is. It really 100%. Is. True. It's so also, true. I also feel like it wouldn't have to go to blows with Rob and M because Emily would just start yelling at Rob and he would just get into the fetal position. And <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, he, he would also <laughs> grab his two daughters and like use them as human shields. Oh, he's uh, not okay, above that. But by he's any not means. above that at all. <laughs> Someone's That's one of the on. things I respect about Rob. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I still say you have to get fucking Rob and the rest of your college buddies on. I, I just don't know why this is so fucking hard to do. Probably because Aaron's a bitch. But beyond <laughs> that, that needs to be an episode. It does. It fucking does. I have, I have talked to uh, Nick on multiple occasions about episodes i've been on of mckinley's podcast and um he's like yeah i can't i still can't figure out how to use spotify and i was just like nick and he's like i can't find it i can't do it this this is the guy any uh, any platform where podcasts are on we're on this is the public education system at work folks this is a public education teacher teacher. (laughs) He's teaching your children. That's sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is he still a high school girls coach? Uh, he, no, actually, he's not coaching anything right now. He's in charge of the scoreboard at all the basketball games. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, at this town down the road, the mentally retarded guy that went to school back in the 80s did that. Radio? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Nick is radio. <laughs> Except they call them scoreboard. Oh my god! Uh, that's and awesome. I think it will take a, an act of God to get Eric on the podcast. Oh, Eric will never come on the podcast. I I almost guarantee that. He's welcome <laughs> well, many times, but I don't. This think shit is annoying because the- I I I really think, from a business standpoint, that. All of the college buddies need to have their podcast. I it, it needs to happen. It'd be great. 
it would be it would be number one of all time on your i think it probably i, I think, think so be. i think it would what is and i've been one? on a lot of them but i'm saying I think um, that one fucking needs to happen my my first episode's still number one um seriously yeah i have things at 700 downloads i think something like that what's the the, what, what the that one is it there's uh the rest of them are the top ones are right around 400 downloads like the the one with me and you and aaron the first time um the sober october one is is up there and uh and then some of the the more serious ones like the rcap and ncba guys are, are up which there. and you may not understand but like those podcasts that matt had with those fellers is actually a kind of a big deal. Like they're they're pretty influential oh, no. people. Oh no, I listened to them. I, I I didn't know what the fuck I was listening to, but right. Yeah. Well, those yeah. were the three biggest uh, trade associations as far as uh, cattle groups go in, in the U.S. Those are the three biggest trade associations, mm-hmm. and I talked to the CEO of one, uh, the VP for media of the other and then not like the official spokeswoman for us cattlemen so uh you know no no big deal no big deal. <laughs> can i <laughs> i have to make an announcement mckinley oh we know you're gay tim you don't get to put out on the podcast i only <laughs> all right you got to get rid of the beard because it tickles my balls so but <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh I you like al- what you like, man. I am allowed to talk about the said story that the lawyers oh! have given- Are we about to unveil this finally? I don't know. I, I feel like we need, I, I, there needs to be more buildup to this. <laughs> there's okay. been buildup for months, you piece of shit. I've so- been wondering for months. Oh, I wonder if there's a way I can patch my phone in so I can... <sighs> I'd have to go back a <laughs> long ways to, to find what? all those boxer messages. <laughs> that was so good I don't uh, no, but I, okay, I but. have I've gotten the all clear that I am not guilty you, you are uh, no longer gagged or, or you're not you don't have a gag order he you're, probably you're, gets gagged quite a bit gag but, in my yeah. mouth. I, I, have, I have this story you know what you need is Robbie Aaron and Ryan on the podcast to listen to said story. Bring him on. Well, that's harder than it sounds. Because <laughs> okay, so when you well, I mean, Aaron's a bitch. Everyone knows that. But uh, <laughs> Ryan, Ryan might be harder to get on because I don't know. It's just Ryan. And also, when Ryan and McKinley meet in real life. The Earl, the world will stop spinning and flat earth is <laughs> right and <laughs> everything is gonna go down. I, I can't just, wait. It sounds like it's meant to be. Oh That's what I'm God. saying. No, yeah. McKinley and Ryan meeting each other, it will be like Zool and the gatekeeper and the key master all met at the same time. And <laughs> <laughs> that sounds <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it'll just be so bad <laughs> and if he does butt <laughs> stuff matt's gonna be super pumped oh like uh through the rust it's just like, gonna be bad that should be enough to get me uh a sponsor from a dick pill company just alone <laughs> <laughs> coming to you from roman swipes one little swipe it will not affect the woman you can hide oh, in your so pocket what the fuck with with todd mccomas leaving Heartland Radio. I was so bummed. I know, but he's got his own shit. So like, it, I know, but I was, and, and still... I felt like he was. I felt like he was underserved there because he, uh, he was uh, of all the the people they, that Pat had around him. Todd was obviously the best. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Speaking of underserved, I need a refill. I do too. That's what and, your wife uh, says. I'll let you get back here, Tim, and then we'll. Uh, I want to hear this this story. Are we are we are we gonna bring everyone on or? I don't know. I'm not surprised. Uh there's Ro. Ro's popping in. Hey, bro, bro. Who you got going here? We got Tim. Tonight. 
whole lot of Tim won the oh, really? No, the Cowboy Story folks uh, apparently have dates and stuff tonight. Like lame, lame. And my stories got shut down super fast. Yeah, you don't have any good stories. Never. All right, I'm going to grab a beer, and then Tim's going to tell us this uh, this bathroom story. Tim? I can't. I can't. I can't. I, no, we need. We need. We need. Oh, good. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Eh. Tim's wearing camo. Uh, Are you going hunting? Is it still hunting season where you live? Uh, actually, it is. <laughs> it's still... the same thing. This is just a shirt. You asked the same thing, Robbie. No, you want to you want to see <laughs> something fucking retarded? Hey, no, you want to see something fucking retarded? This is fucking. Oh, I like it. Yeah, it's off to the side. They look like a. Oh, fucking... is it crooked? <laughs> oh no. Horrible. We already went over this. How I instructed Matt what we should do with the hats, and he did literally the opposite. And then right. they came out just like I said they would. Not so, Matt. So McKinley, I, I I was telling Tim earlier, I get so sick and tired of telling people, yeah, I told you so. Like, I shouldn't have to say <laughs> that rough. all the time. That's rough. So, I know, Robbie. I teach so, high school. Yeah. I know. It was really funny because, like, two weeks after I ordered the hat, like, I, I was texting McKinley. I was like, what the fuck? Where's the hat? And he finally, t- he calls me one, like, it was like a Sunday morning. He calls me. He's like, so got uh, news for you. And he's like, I've got two hats left and they're both fucking retarded. Do you want? <laughs> and I was like, I mean, oh, I, <laughs> I didn't hear about these hats. Oh no, this one. Okay. See, before he changed everything, I almost told him, hat. let me just take it over and I'll do it. But I just, I didn't know if I could handle dealing with people it looks like whoever stitched this on here was cross-eyed <laughs> what was amber doing this thing that wasn't amber that was the lady that did the first uh amber's friend that did it. i don't know what it turned the into. first order that i said no to that was that i didn't know anything about those cricket hats but can't believe this yeah, hat looks like-, like it was this hat looks like it was made like drawn with a crayon Actually, that was that was actually the second order I said no to. What happened with the hats? Um, well, we got a lot ironed out now. But. No, that's what I asked. I asked what happened with the hats. Well, because he didn't. Know, how is it now? He did listen to me. Uh-huh. What happened with the hats? Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing out mm-hmm. there? There's a lot of fucking wild turkey involved. <laughs> is that what it's called now yes huh. it was, was smoking the reaper. i thought it was willie nelson <laughs> <laughs> i thought you had to pee i didn't know you had to go poke it up you lush you yeah. disgusting piece I of didn't, shit i didn't see these this, cricket this looks like they looks they like he was like made that. by mckinley when he was Three drunk and he had his arm doing this shit <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows. <laughs> yeah, we deny it. Oh, we've, we've known before you knew. Oh, yeah, we uh-huh. know. Uh-huh. It was like one of the first things I noted. Like, hmm, what's going on here? We're Robbie good. was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a thing. Who wants to go play thing. some darts? <laughs> With that retarded baby hand? I don't think so. <laughs> well... Tim, you can vouch for me. I was a good dart partner. We we you were you would you would game up. I was I I was always impressed. It was that and a uh, bubble hockey, and I was like, well, McKinley oh, yeah. has one fucking hand that works right now. <laughs> <laughs> It'll happen. Well, kind of kind of awesome. That's yeah. <laughs> oh, no awesome. All Robbie, right. where's your wife? She's right there. This is a fat corgi. Wow, I don't think you should talk about Sheena like that. I wasn't. I was talking about. She poops. barely liked you as it is. <laughs> look, look at this thing. Oh my God. I can't even. I can't even get it off the ground. Oh, don't bite me, bitch! Jesus Christ! Why you be so? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sheena, I told them to treat you better. I apologize. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's good. Where's your wife? 
It's bedtime. Uh, oh, she's she's pet sitting like a, a mile away. Here, get. You bit me earlier. Go away. That's what I thought. What is right. Are you yelling at a dog too? Yeah. Tim's yelling at a dog. You're yelling at a dog. Audrey. Audrey just barked at something. No, my wife goes to bed about eight with the youngest, uh, and then about know? nine, I send the oldest. Kind of getting to bed. some age on him. Bro, old dog. How old is he now? Oh gosh. What? How old is he? Uh, Jesus. Twenty-two. Oh. I was say, and it pretty big dog. I'm Seventy in dog years, probably. Oh. Uh... Like, like 30 pounds somewhere in there. Mm. Yeah, you're gonna want to be my friend after you yeah. try to bite me. You you had him what when you we were it? still in college. Uh, uh like, it's late here. Right I we got her when we were like Ooh, right weird. when we first started dating. So yeah. We never dated. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Who are you talking no, to? No, Russ and I. Oh. Poots. I don't know what she's doing. She's this just out here. She's no, just you know, right here. What are you drinking, Tim? Have I ever had I I one of whiskey, but I ran out, so I got red wine. Oh, there you go. I have wine. Always drinking wine. God, no. Such a city boy. I can't drink. I, I only time I drink beer is in Walsh. Really? In How come you never gave me one of these before? I have. You've never had a yellow belly? I feel like I've had Coors Light. I don't think I've had one of these before. Yes, you have. You've never had a yellow belly? Yes, she has. He says that's, I have. Literally, that's literally the tears of angels. That's, yeah, yeah that's what's this is not bad. The banquet beer. That's, yeah, we know. Oh, banquet is the best. Mm. That's not bad. And then when you, and then when you class it up, you uh, go on to the oh, naked. No, yeah, yeah. Thing, pinky's out, bitches. Oh, yeah. I think he's two, out and he's like two, two, two. Yeah. But I'm also a fucking redneck, so I got to Oh hell yeah, you got a double fist, a double pinky. I don't yeah, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's why I learned I never seen anybody drink from two bottles at once before in my whole life till I met you, Robbie. Here's the, here's the, here's the question. That'll happen. How am I whipped, like? Blake? Shut up. Oh, shut up, Matt. You're fucking whipped. You shut your fucking mouth. Sit down. Sit down. Whipped. Whipped how? Oh, oh, we're driving to Reno. Let's do a fucking podcast with my beautiful wife. <laughs> we were driving to Elko. Get it straight. Whipped as shit. Yeah, dumbass. Elko. That was a good podcast, and you know it. I did. I stopped listening when it rogue on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, everyone's entitled uh, to their opinion. Hey, uh, Timmy boy, I think you <laughs> forgot that part where I said the first time I met her, she slapped me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're underestimating her. <laughs> I think you might be right. Time, the first time I met her, she she got in an argument with uh, Aaron because you were saying you were like on uh, someone's Harry Reid's campaign. <laughs> I wasn't arguing. I was just continuously feeding him full of fake news that he was falling for. <laughs> And it was and amazing. Got so and then, pissed off, he ran out of the bar, and I found him at a hot dog stand. <laughs> <laughs> and Matt was, he was like, he was healing himself with food. That fat. Matt, fat. yeah, what? and Matt was like, "Stop! You gotta stop now." I'm like, "Why? This is funny. He is freaking out." And Matt's like, "You well, never leave sensitive. the table. You never he's leave the sensitive. table. If you gotta Matt. stop, he's gonna be pouty no. all night." I was like, that's hilarious. You can fucking man up and get over it. There are like yeah, four man, people. I'm known. This There's is the four people on history. Earth. They can see what's going on with Aaron and just be like, okay, this is getting too far. And it's me, Nick, McKinley, and his wife. And we just all just know, like, all right, everybody calm down. Leave Aaron alone. As fun. No, as no, I, I hate all of you guys. Out, I'm with Ro 100%. No, 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 no. no. It's I have never fun. said this in my life. I am with Ro. Fuck you. That's hilarious. No. <laughs> when you're on, you. when you're on a heater, I'm you don't get off the table. Yeah, and Matt was like, Good, you got to stop now. you got to stop now. And he's getting <laughs> all no. rowdy. And he's 
He's gonna get sensitive, and he's gonna. No, it doesn't good- matter if your friend's a bitch. You still don't get off. That's the what table I was like. Either. Your friend's a I bitch. This, Let's find new this, friends. I hate you, Matt. I don't want to agree with her. I don't want to agree with her. Ass. I hate that I agree with her, but she's right. She's right, I, motherfucker. I will say this to Aaron's face. It is the funniest thing in the world to get him so pissed off that he runs off to a hot dog stand. <laughs> it's hilarious. Probably not the first time. Every single time. But when you're his friend that has to be the one that goes to the hot dog stand to get him away from said hot dog stand, it's not that no, fucking I was like, funny boy, anymore. please, we find us some new friends. Let's go. I was going to say, uh, you're a better friend yeah. than I am. Because yeah, if I get a friend too. who's being a pussy and yeah. runs to feed his face to make himself feel better, I'm like, and we'll all the shit I was saying tonight. to him was not true. Good, Nothing I said was true. Enjoy Nothing I said dog. to him What's was true. Aaron was the best man at my wedding. I that says a lot about you, Tim. To see him get pissed off, but it's just easier just to be like, stop. That's what Matt said. He's like, just stop. <laughs> yeah, but you are pussy. I'm surprised I don't want to deal with this. He, I has, don't. He's I sensitive, don't, so I you're gonna have, have to be a little more understanding. I like, have those friends. I'm not understanding. I say, go to the end of the bar. Fuck you. No. Please don't get in a fight because I'm not defending you. You guys are all thousands of miles away. <laughs> you don't have to deal with him when he's down the street over that way. <laughs> go get him. <laughs> I might go yell at him right now. <laughs> Yeah, he. I, I talk like, a lot of shit, but I I will a- actually do it to the face. I, I'm not that guy. I don't know how he couldn't take so, a joke. So okay, it was a. He was too busy taking podcasts. a ton of dicks. There's two podcasts, McKinley, right? There's the one where Aaron and I come and we work on your ranch. Reword that. Reword that. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> Aaron and I, we go work that ranch. <laughs> Mm, not still not good. Still not good. <laughs> no, I, the wrong visuals. I said what I meant, and I meant what I said. All right. Ah. <laughs> and then the other podcast, McKinley, is you and Robbie come to Denver for a weekend. That, You're using the uh, word "come" way too much, and it's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> hey, it's Valentine's Day. I it's said Valentine's what I said, Day. and I meant what I said. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, bye Ro. <laughs> uh, Jesus, you need you need Jesus. <laughs> All right, so let me set the scene for this this story that Tim Oh no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. We're now. doing the story now. We We're not coming yes. back from this. This is a thing now. No, is, you've been going down a path too long. You got bound and gagged and you also uh, we're bound by law not to say anything. I don't know about the bound and gag part. Oh, okay. I, want you, okay. I want you to think about the ramifications of Aaron not hearing this story with you. So bring him on. Tell him he could be the fucking pussy. Why? Why wouldn't you just fucking do That's it? That's his mo, Robbie. I'm so Aaron, sick of hearing about badass fucking Aaron. 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 You are telling the guy jacking off at, at work and you catching him and you're telling that story and you're telling it now you just told it there's more oh, no there's yeah really more no. to it than that oh. to be for to be far he outlined it it does kind of hit all the main plot points but it's still an outline yeah like you're gonna give us more details than that yes it oh, will. Do you want more details because no, i got no no details. no wait time out no i want to back know i've got all the of the details so Mm-mm. leading up to this, no uh, gracias. We have this uh, group conversation on Voxer. If you don't know what that is, it's like the walkie-talkie app. It's me. It's what old Jim people Aaron. used to talk. Yeah. <clears throat> so we, uh, My, our uncles use that. So it's awesome. Yeah. For um, old people. That, whatever. <laughs> um, Shut up, Robbie. <laughs> so it's a pretty regular occurrence that. Aaron will usually open it up in the morning uh, by serenading us with some song, usually about how much he hates traffic, and then it ends with fuck, typically. And then um, I'll respond, Tim will, will respond, and then it's me and Aaron talking shit for like all day, two hours at least, 
I'll generally then, check out. And then Tam will pop in and go, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and uh, so I'll, I'll let Robbie get back here. He can hear you. Uh, he's got he's to gotta get the full effect here. But <laughs> would you say that's accurate for the Voxer conversation? I generally will wake up and look at my phone to see who the fuck of my all all of my horrible employees is calling in sick that day and then <laughs> there will generally be three or four it, it all it says is aaron ellis is talking aaron ellis is talking aaron ellis is talking and i'm just like what the fuck is new because that's <laughs> all that fucking dude does is talk 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 <laughs> he doesn't shut the fuck up Right. Uh, Unless you tell him oh, yeah. you work for Harry Reid. <laughs> <laughs> then he needed a hot dog. <laughs> what? Hey, I'm, can you I'm here, me? man. I'm just trying to get my uh, phone charger. Put say, up. Shut up, Tim. Shut up, Tim. Hey, hey. Don't start with me. Can you tell Tim what Why you're going to do? Awake? Why are you still awake? And, uh, you know, you tell him, Tim what you're. Out. It's only nine o'clock. <clears throat> You gotta come right I should here. Be in bed. Yeah, show him what you're gonna do. Show him. <laughs> don't start. Don't start with me. <laughs> I'll give you one of these. Give him an elbow. <laughs> <Like this>. <laughs> <laughs> show me your elbow. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you the. Don't pizza. worry, Gus. Tim don't is a. City boy, we will throttle his little. Tell tell the boys what you told us at dinner time. If the dog catcher comes, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Something? Remember what something? Talk like a big boy. What you were gonna do? Uh, a buck. That's right. not what you said. You were gonna, you were gonna kick. Remember? You're gonna kick everything. That is not what you said. We what do you say? If the dog catcher comes, he's gonna. I'm gonna kick his ass. Where'd Robbie go? <laughs> Hell yes. I was like, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> oh my god. Robbie left. Yeah, Ro Robbie's out. Robbie bounce. I don't think I don't, he did it on purpose. I don't think so either. But okay. Well, okay. you tell Uncle Tim how you're gonna kick the dog catcher's ass. Please do. And also, I need you to hang out with Aaron's kids to make them a little more badass. I think that's going to have to be Sophia. They watch a little too much fucking, like, what's the, what's the, uh, they watch something, some stupid cartoon. Yeah. Peppa Pig. Oh, good. Robbie's back. Oh, good. <laughs> And now he's looking down at the computer instead of up at the computer. I don't know what you're talking about, Tim. <laughs> yeah, it's off. Are you going to finish the story then? Are you like giving visuals for Tim's story or what's going on right now? <laughs> Tim doesn't need visuals. <laughs> no, I've had plenty of those. So <laughs> anyway, how the, the, the boxer conversation goes is like Aaron. Yeah, can we? This has been literally a six-month fucking thing, and I'm oh, sick of you and your friends with, oh, I don't want to say it on the inner. I'm sick of it. I want to hear the goddamn story. No, no, no. no. You, want, you know right? what? You know what's funny is that I was, like, going to go on McKinley's podcast, like, a couple, like a month or two ago. You're on it now. Like, that day, the lawyer from my company, I work for a very large company with a bunch of lawyers, and a lawyer came, called me and said, this is a, do not bring this up to anyone. And I was like, okay. And he goes, I'm like, why? And he goes, he goes, because we are getting sued for this and we might lose. What? <laughs> what? I, go, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I hope you do because all no, I know we, is. Apparently we are. Off at work. No, no, no. All I know is Robbie. dude jerks off at work. If you guys lose this, I'm jerking off at work fucking Monday. Okay. Oh, dude. No, this is the most litigious, ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. 
please tell me you because, lost cause because Monday's going to be a big day for me. Because it, it was the day that they called me that the day that they called me and said I was getting sued for this was the day I told Aaron and Matt, like a little <laughs> bit of the story. Yeah. So we're, we're in the point where it's just me and Aaron talking shit for hours on end. <clears throat> and then That's annoying. And so then Tim pops back in on his lunch break or whatever. Instead of the normal, just shut the fuck up. He goes, dude, I've got a story for you. I caught one of my employees big one. masturbating at work and uh, I fired him and now he's suing us. And so, and then he just, then he goes was- radio silent. <laughs> and me and Aaron are like, wait, wait, hold on. What? Yeah. <laughs> No. So then Please we explain. we are left to our own devices because Tim's not chiming in. <laughs> so then we turn it to uh, turn it to pure to, radio uh, gold. Tim uh, found this guy yanking it and joined in somehow in in this <laughs> in this stream. It, turn it, it turned into Tim was basically jacking this dude off. <laughs> and I so, was okay, like, wait, well, what no. I'm Tim blew a guy at work and is now trying to cover it up. <laughs> basically. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's basically the story. So <laughs> there you well, have it, Daylight Burgers. Why Tim am I Romo. not surprised? And not and in a gay way. This is not rent. I was not I was not blowing this guy in a gay way. It was <laughs> he always says no homo, homo after. It's cool. <laughs> it was a, yeah. it was a dominance thing, wasn't it? Me and Ro have been on the same page <laughs> way too much tonight. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> we were wrestling naked as you do at we work. We know. No, we know. <laughs> as is tradition. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he wanted a raise. so <laughs> And you gave him a raise. I gave him two raises. <laughs> oh, you did, did he make your dark night rise? <laughs> did you see that meme? That one cracked me up. I did. Jesus Christ. <laughs> did you see the one I got on uh, on Brad that I won Valentine's? Yeah, the Mountain Dew me. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that and I was like, yes, I win. No, wait, though- wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. You're getting off track. I want to break down on the story. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, it's got it's time. It's fucking okay. Time. Quit interrupting him. Okay. All right. Here's the story. Here's the here's the famous. You can story. tell it. Yeah. Can I, I interrupt him? Yeah, I, you're I, out I, of litigation. No, There's no more litigation. I've gotten my permission from my lawyers. The ball gag has been removed. All right. Oh. And and the butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> as long as i can get matt to laugh i'm psyched <laughs> matt's only that's laughing because he can picture it that's not hard he's like oh, just like college yeah, exactly it's college all over again <laughs> i remember when tim used to put a butt plug in his ass in the living room <laughs> well it was a double-ended butt plug but sorry anyway. <laughs> I like that McKinley's wife is here for this story. So anyway. <laughs> she doesn't have a name. That's McKinley's wife. Do what? I like how you don't have a name. You're McKinley's I noticed, wife. Yeah, I noticed that too. Oh no, I Well he was, was he was referring McKinley McKinley and I thought he was talking about me and then I realized that's not me. That's nothing. Uh you're triple down right here. Uh we're all McKinley's. So I know. When you say McKinley, you're talking about all about three all of us. us. Well, the original. See, I go by McKinley all day long, and so <laughs> that's the my original name. McKinley is Mr. McKinley. Yeah, and he's who? not here right now. It's us. <laughs> that's true. Which would be LP, which you don't know, because right. <laughs> LP, who's LP? Exactly. That's right, bitch. That's right, <laughs> you don't know. Oh. You know more McKinley's than I do. Good job. Well, I'd I hope so. I mean, I, I literally. <laughs> I know a lot so. of Martins too. Maybe more than. All right. I do going. know Martins. I yeah, have me actually too. some oh, very, very good friends that are Martins. Martin is how I pronounce it, but let's keep going. No, no, no. Mine are white. Yeah, uh, mine are not. So, come on. <laughs> so, Tim, it's a, it's a normal day at work, I assume. Okay. 
So let's set the story. Okay. I manage, I manage a warehouse. Yeah. It's probably a pretty normal day for Tim to see dudes beat off. Well, that's just on Pornhub. So <laughs> keep it. Tim, this is going. On. This is going on the internet. You I just. I just can't wait okay. for Ro to run away. <laughs> I know. I I'm trapped. I'm gonna, keep like, saying, I'm gonna keep saying the worst things that can possibly come out of my mouth just to see Rose if I about can... to get R. kelly up in here. <laughs> uh, just keep going. Anyway. <laughs> I, I do want to hear this story. Can we Me just, too. Let's just all right? So basically I, I manage a, a warehouse where I have 30 some odd employees that um uh, are in charge of various things, whatever. And uh, we have the warehouse, which is a couple hundred thousand square feet. Um, and then we have a uh, an area in the front that um, has our offices. So my office is up there. My boss's <laughs> office is up there. There's a lot of offices for um, uh, salespeople. That they come, they use the office for a couple hours every single day and whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, so buy one of these office. And then also, so this is like seven in the morning. I probably have 20 or 30 employees going out in the warehouse, um, doing their thing, picking orders, shipping them out. And I, um, I walk out, I, the one time I've ever had to, fax something so fax machine is in the back of this this office like way back behind my office um there's a fax machine so i was like oh shit i gotta fax this thing so i'm walking back there and i hear like a scuffle behind one of these closed doors you sound like no 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 it was kind of just kind of like a like like papers rustling or whatever and i was like huh and I'm faxing this thing and I keep hearing this noise. Sound effect, shut up. <laughs> I keep hearing this noise. Like I, I, I have the fax machine going. It's like, I had to fax like 35 papers. What? Why? Yeah. What? 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 Like no, no, Are they don't still faxing? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I had to fax this thing. I could have, I could have scanned this thing done in four minutes, but yeah, um, email. so I, I'm oh, sitting yeah. next to the fax machine. This thing is scanning them, whatever. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking and I keep hearing this noise. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And I know we have like day porters. They go around and clean all the offices every morning and do all that stuff. And, but they were all gone by this point. So I was like, what the fuck is this noise? And I, I, I <laughs> McKinley, you're going to get a kick out of this. So <laughs> I'm kind of like someone's in one of these offices like fucking with our shit and i was like okay and i look around and all i all i had around me was a three hole punch <laughs> <laughs> you're so gonna do this. some damage <laughs> so i grabbed this three hole punch and i'm like i open one office door and i look in totally dark he kicks the door down <laughs> yeah i'll give you a fucking <laughs> hole punch um hole punch you to the face. Who is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah ground scumbag. <laughs> so I'm holding this three hole punch. Now. Hole? I'll give you a hole. <laughs> so yeah. I, 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 and I was like, all right, because I, right, I was like, I'll, I'll do a little damage, whatever. And so I opened one door, nothing. I opened another door, nothing. I make it three doors down this hallway, nothing. Did he call you Superman? And I, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still hearing this noise, and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Do you, you also, don't have security at this warehouse who have like? No, we have. We have it's clearly Tim. So Tim you're the security, security also. Security. Yeah, that's what I'm getting I'm at. Like, I'm the security. Your security with your whole punch. Apparently, yeah, my whole. Is that three hole hole punch or just a single hole hole? It's three, it three holes. Oh, okay. It's the it's the long one that has yeah. like. You, the three like, hole hole punch, yeah, yeah, that's damage. All right. I just want to be on record. Like, if I ever get in a situation where like shit's going down and I have an adversary, I want Tim to be my adversary. I'll, with be, three right hole punch. 
I'm going to do work, son. At least at Matt's job, you could like grab a rifle. <laughs> okay. No, so no, that's what I would say. Is like when he comes at me with his right phone, now, I'm going to take him with my 45. <laughs> right. I have, I have my CC. And now every single day at work, I've had my gun in my backpack. <laughs> All right, keep going. So, so yeah, we're, gotta, we're like, just as bad. Me and Ro are just as bad. Yeah. So okay. the fax machine. Oh, he's really playing with a loaded gun. <laughs> so the fax machine. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. So, Tim's really packing now. <laughs> I'm gonna bust into every office with, with, with my gun and my three hole punch now. And just like, what, my well, you gotta, so, you what do you want? Which one do you want? Break through. No, not Tim. He needs to keep his job. <laughs> yeah, I need to keep less in Cherry Creek. So, anyway, um, anyway, I go back, to, the fax machine starts beeping. And I was like, what the fuck is that? So I, I, I go over, I check the fax machine. There's people in my hallway, sorry. Um, check the fax machine. I'm like, what the fuck? And I, I get it fixed and I'm still hearing this noise. It's like, wow. and it's not, it's not like, it's not beating you know off. Finished, like, bro. It's not that noise. It's not, not a fax. Oh, no. What? It's not that noise. Oh, you just made it weird. <laughs> it's not that noise. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? So then I walked up at work. To the that last was still lubed up at work. That's That would be a whole different conversation. But how, this is, okay, this is taking a while. Okay, go ahead. Oh, no, it gets worse. Believe <laughs> So then, <laughs> so I finally get to the last office. I'm holding my, my, my three-hole punch. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. And I open the door and it's dark in the office because this is super early in the morning. I open the door. So, yes. so in this in this office, let me open let me, so you look in the office. Yeah. Automatically, it's like 10 foot by 10 foot. Hi. There's a desk. There's a, uh, and I've been in this office multiple times because I, I knew the guy that used that, to work. That's his jack off station. That's, the, yeah. well, that's my jack off spot. Yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, he knew us. It's an office with a desk, a computer on it. The room to be in. To, to the left, towards the door, towards the door of this office, towards the door of the desk is a, um, a refrigerator. Uh, for like, like, like the little, like, personal refrigerator like uh you mini know, fridge I, yeah you yeah. put six packs of soda in there soda <laughs> semen anyway <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> so i opened the door and it's all dark in there and i was like it took me a second for the light behind me to shine in there a guy that i just hired seriously <laughs> before no is sitting there <laughs> his pants at his ankles sitting on top of the refrigerator with his shirt his shirt is above his head <laughs> no what and no that's a go to move <laughs> he's just fucking going at it and no. I stop. It took me a second to realize what I'm looking at. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, you're fired. You're so fired. Wait. Oh, this cannot happen. He didn't stop. I was going to say, I was going to ask. <laughs> oh, that going. is the And I slammed the door. Yeah. That is the biggest fucking power move. Oh, that, did you slam the door? You got out the door. Did you get out and slam the door? I slammed, I slammed hey, the door closed. Tim, Tim, and I was like, no, 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 no. Hands up, Tim, no. This Tim, isn't Tim, happening. Tim, no. Oh, man. I, I was like, no fucking way. And I'm looking at my phone and I'm like, should I call like, my phone? He's like, stop looking at me. Stop <laughs> he's like, shut the door, please. 
Get out. You know I mean? uh, I hello, want. busy, how'd you, how'd you occupado. When his shirt's <laughs> over his head. His shirt was like this. Oh. <laughs> Hey, we've all been there. That's good. All right. I see. <laughs> Matt's laughing because he's been Matt's laughing because he's looking at himself he, he's, in the mirror being up on himself. Head. That picture his face. Like you can see his face. <laughs> it would be better if he's got one of those time shirts with the dinosaur on the back side. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The fact that he didn't stop. Makes me respect this man he so much. Did he make eye contact. Mm-hmm. The old jacket, and also he had his phone in his other hand. So I don't know what he was looking at. Oh, yeah, porn, dumbass porn. Right. Cranking off. I bust in with <laughs> with a three hole oh, punch. punch. You didn't put it to use. So. Like, and we make eye contact. He doesn't stop jacking off. I slam the door. Tim's like, just, I will hole punch you. And he's like, <laughs> and do. now he's the CEO of the company. Yeah, now you were okay. <laughs> I'm standing there. So I slam the door. And I'm he's like, like, hey, um, by the way, like you're obviously fired, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's worse. He's like, you're out of tissues. It's worse. <laughs> How? Wait. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm wait like, till look, like, I'm looking at my out. phone. He's like, oh, I'm now. literally sitting there for a good five minutes waiting for my God, phone. he really did finish. I'm looking for my I'm looking at my phone going, should I call my boss? What do I do? Like, should I call HR? Well, all, all these things are going through my mind. And and Tim's like, I'm triggered. I'm so well, triggered. Super <laughs> triggered. No, I was turned on, if anything. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, that, that I can buy. So no, so then after five minutes, he's still in there. He didn't even. The door opens. Who lasts like... that long? What the hell? <laughs> Feel bad for your wife. Anyway, so the door opens. <laughs> <laughs> the door opens about six inches and then slams again because he looked out the window. Uh, looked out the door and saw I was still there. Why were you? Yeah, you're. Yeah, why didn't you just knock on the door and be like, get out? I was sitting there the no, whole. No, you know why? Because he's like this on the door. He's like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, get it, So anyway, so then like it, the door opens and slams shut, and I was like, oh Jesus! And then like 15 seconds later, the door slowly opens and he walks out, and he goes, "I'm fired." And I was like, "Yeah." And he goes. He goes, all right. And I was like, I'll escort you out. Like, and that was the most awkward walk across our couple hundred walk thousand. Yeah, because he was trying out. to cover his cum filled boner. <laughs> I had to walk with him to the employee restroom where all the lockers are to have him empty his locker to then walk across this entire warehouse. <laughs> yeah, was he just mom. pulling out bottle after bottle of Jergens? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> no, like what he did is he like closed his locker and then a like Tim's fucking headshot like flew, <laughs> fluttered down. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Tim's distracted now. Don't be ashamed, Tim. It's fun. Emily, Emily just texted on our our Facebook. <laughs> Oh, did she? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, she just said, shut up, Tim. So anyway, <laughs> yes, so she knows. I finally get him across the warehouse. He's like, he's like, so I'm fired. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Dude, finally, you're beating totally off to a picture fired. of me. So he walks out, gets in his little like Toyota, Toyota Tercel or whatever it is, and drives off. And I was like, I was like, no fucking way this just happened. <laughs> the boss got there about two hours later. I go into his office. I tell him what happened. He's like, you fired him, right? And I was like, yeah. He's like, okay, good. That's it. Two weeks later, like the day I, I tell Matt about this on Voxer. Wrongful a, termination, you piece of shit. <laughs> I get a phone call from my company's lawyers. Like, so I work for a company that is very, very large. Amazon, it's obvious. We know what you're talking about. It's Amazon. A bunch of fucking Jew Rob lawyers. 
<laughs> on fucking like just ready to go and a lawyer calls me and he goes so um because i've actually gotten called by lawyers a couple times for people saying i fired them because i was racist and that's whatever whatever i've won all those lawsuits he's um, like yeah i'm obviously racist. Like, yep, get over still it still racist bam <laughs> super sorry take your jew ass down the block we don't care at amazon Super sorry. I worked my ass off and I got a college degree and also I'm your manager, but I, you have to get fired because you suck. went to college for 30 years, goddammit. True. <laughs> Inside the point. But anyway, so I get a call from this lawyer and he goes, Hey, uh, why did you call why why did you fire Steve? And I was why'd like, you call Steve a fucking Jew bitch? <laughs> well, because he was a Jew bitch, but <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a different. Should have said that. You shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I can say that. You can't say that. Well, no, Steve's not Jewish or a bitch. I don't know. He just jacks off at work. But <laughs> so I, he calls me. He's like, "Why did you fire this guy?" And I was, I, I tell him the entire story I just told you guys, and he goes, he's laughing the entire time. And I go, okay. And he goes, yeah, yeah, no, this is this is a slam dunk. Don't worry about it. And then the a day after that, I was like laughing about it with my boss. And then the lawyer calls me again. And he goes, Hey, um, he has a case. And I was like, What? Like, <laughs> I was like, how? And he goes, No, he has a case. Don't tell anybody about this. And this is after I'd already told McKinley and Aaron. <laughs> after it been aired on fucking podcast. Here's the thing. <laughs> so I, I, I text McKinley and Aaron. And I was like, like, uh, about 7,800 people already know about it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a cork in this for a minute. <laughs> so obviously you won the case or else you wouldn't be talking about it. Well, funny story. <laughs> true story. <clears throat> funny, funny, true, funny, true story. He uh, he sued the company and myself because oh, no he sued you personally. Oh yes, my name is all over this. Ugh. I don't blame him. <laughs> Fuck you. So <laughs> no, no, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, uh, only if which... it's an abandoned office. <laughs> he sued us for discrimination, for wrongful termination. Oh, I get it. For a I'm whole litany of other things. And we were just like, I called the lawyer and I was like, how is it? What, what? And he goes, nowhere in our employee manual is it illegal for you to be jacking off at work. He was like, Tim, you should have looked away, you piece of shit. <laughs> You'd never make eye contact. Never make eye contact. <laughs> That's funny in a not real world thing. In the real world, it's not illegal to be caught by your boss jacking off in an office on top of a, a little refrigerator. <laughs> we know it's not illegal. That's you not illegal. Shit. And we, he has a it. Tommy Boy fan. Lar, lar, lo, lay, lo. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on Jack Raps. I'm on his side. <laughs> wow. So it's not illegal, Tim. You look away. It gets worse. Am I being oh, detained? Hell no, it don't. Am so I it being not. detained? It gets worse. <laughs> no, it don't. There's no way. It gets worse. No. Okay. I had to go on record. Oh, nice. Of it, it's like it was about six I just told you guys. I had to look a judge in the eye and tell him that I saw a guy jacking off on top of a refrigerator and we made eye contact. <laughs> and he's like, and he's like, not only that, he finished while he stared at me. <laughs> did they did you have to collect evidence? No, <laughs> I was not going around with my did fucking. You have to my use... <laughs> no. Did you have to use technical terminology? No, I told him. He ejaculated. He stared. Yeah. 
So you, you said jacking contact. off to the judge? What? Did you say pounding off or did you say? I said jacking off. off. I would have used flogging the dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it for a second. I was actually like, I was like. What? He was totally spanking that monkey. I was I was actually gonna go Frank Reynolds and just be like pounding off on the couch. <laughs> Quit! You're just mushing it now. <laughs> just, just he looked at me in the eyes. It was over. I'm counter suing. So the funny thing also is that this is the <laughs> other great thing about this is that I had to drive downtown to the federal courthouse <laughs> not just a county judge yeah. a federal judge and tell him that story right there <laughs> wow and i was expecting mckinley's reaction from the judge but he just sat there stone-faced like, <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was not there was <laughs> funny story Cricket. the judge was pounding off listening <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <He might> <laughs> So that is the famous story that you've been wanting for a couple months. So, man, I've got a lot of questions here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> please, please. I've got uh, nothing. Did, did this right? guy Me testify neither. in court? Ooh. Yes, did he did. <laughs> what was his defense? That nowhere in the employee manual does it say that you cannot jack off at work did he try to you set know what the mood of i'm like 100 I'm, I'm behind this guy now yeah he's right did the that they put him on the stand and say can you point out your accuser <laughs> <laughs> did he point at you with his dick? <laughs> he looked at my penis he's, he's the I problem would have, i would have been laughing at that point but no <laughs> What this was was more of a mediation in like a boardroom where I had to sit there with like very few people and tell a judge what happened with him. You were like, guys, he beat off in front of me. He was what literally going to say, I, how far away from he, me he was, I could have beat him off. <laughs> <laughs> And seeing this was the premise of the whole conversation that me and Aaron had while we were waiting on Tim to tell him. Tim was details. like, you're not doing it right. <laughs> Let me show you some tricks. So what if, <laughs> if, you, if you look the tip, here, here watch, watch, watch. I'll get you off much quicker. So what, it, what it turned into was also on motion. Boxer will tell you how many uh, messages you've missed. And usually, like, throughout a day with Aaron just talking his normal bullshit, it'll be like, I've missed three boxers. And then <laughs> that day, when I told them just the premise of what happened, I missed, like, 195 bo boxers <laughs> that day. I'm just, Aaron, I think, Matt, I think Matt told through. me that day, Matt told me what the premise was. And I think Matt missed 195 messages from me. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> it was um Enviable. I saw a guy jacking off and <laughs> I've only seen Nick's butthole before that. So I was say he's acting <laughs> like it's the first time. He's like and he got and he got hard, so he's concerned about his sexuality. We get it. See? It's fine. You left that part out. Did you tell the judge it about that? Hard. It was half chub. <laughs> but we'll accept you for however you are. God damn it. I tried to get Ro to spit her beer out. I said that at the exact right time. <laughs> All I did was go make sense. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've probably seen Matt naked more times than Rebecca has. Uh, well, can you blame her? <laughs> <laughs> fair point. It's a fair point. Right, right. I see what you're saying. <laughs> it wasn't creepy. He didn't have his glasses on, though. <laughs> yeah. So, I understand that, too. <laughs> 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 like he's trying to look philosophical. Oh, I'm I'm always philosophical. He's trying to well, look, he's like, I mean, look philosophical. He's trying to look Poindexter. Trying, you're like yeah. you're you're philosophical to like the the like red solo cup song. Philosophical. Yeah. Oh, we don't believe in that. No, they hate that song. 
Hey, yeah, it's trash. I love trash. that song. What's wrong with you? Of course about? you do, you city slicker. That's a terrible song. Of course song. you do. You're wearing camo in your apartment in the middle of downtown Denver. Of course you love You've that song. You've never hunted a day in your life. Who are you hiding from? Nobody can see me for shit. <laughs> yeah, you're on Facebook Live with us and two other people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and all I can see is your face. Yeah, where does Buddy go? And they're disappointed. <laughs> Whoa, his anyway. head is floating. So, I, at, was at any the point the the weight? did did he pull out his dick? Uh, I think that was the whole thing. No, when you were with the judge. Were you with the judge and him at the same time? Yes. Were you skiing? Oh, no. <laughs> He was not jacking off at that time. But Tim was. That would have been, that would have been the ultimate power move if, if he just whipped it out during mediation. You know, you know it was super funny also. I, 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 this just, just popped into my mind, actually. But So he had on a bright pink shirt when he was jacking off. And he had that shit over his head. I'm never going to forget this. <laughs> I can't tell you what burned into his o hose. All right, first off, Tim, first if off, you haven't jacked off with your shirt over your head at work, you're not living. Time out. Time <laughs> out. <laughs> and I'm going to call Robbie out on this one. Oh. All right. Well, okay. So, first off, weird <laughs> shit having your head. Okay. First off, weird jacking off at work with your head, shirt over your head. What's the the next thing is who sits down like Indian style on top of a refrigerator? Oh, you left that part out. That's not how <laughs> I pictured it. That's not Everybody how I pictured it. I picture his legs were dangling. No, no. He was sitting Indian style. Legs crossed. Oh, I didn't know. How so tiny he was, guy. He was a, tiny guy. He was a yoga dude. Yeah. Uh -huh. no, I'm on his side. I'm on his side now. That I was, didn't I respect. Was it back against the wall or was he sitting up straight? No, sit, sit up straight. Uh, bro, you That's some serious what? Strength. Yeah. He's done this before. Yeah, no, this was not the first time. No. I, I'm not even mad anymore. Like, I'm just impressed. No. Respect. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this guy. <laughs> you broke her. <laughs> you broke her. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> no, no, I didn't change the whole story. Indian, you didn't say that. You're not allowed to say that either. Anyway, it's crisscross apple. No, like, <laughs> legit, no, it's Indian like, style. Everyone knows you it. You know what? You know what? I I like you know what? I'm on the other side now. Tim, you're a snitch. You're a goddamn snitch. <laughs> Snitches get stitches, Tim. God yeah, damn. Tim is sitting on top of a refrigerator, Indian style jacking off with. He was doing yoga. You're a snitch. It's part of his life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, Tim. Yes, Tim. Yeah. Rebecca. It's part of his medical. You daily... got nobody. You've got nobody. Don't don't. Ron Rebecca, Paul Rebecca, with... Rebecca. Rebecca. I... Earmuffs. Hey, Earmuffs. 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 Nobody tells me what to do. Earmuffs. <laughs> Guys, when was the last time you ever jacked off Indian style? Uh, uh, I'm going to do it now. because also <laughs> I'm, I'm intrigued now, but... You didn't... That's Indian style. You're gonna have to that's got to be different than one. sitting Indian style. So you're going to have to figure that out. You can't say that anyway. I'm going to have to hydrate before. Tim, you. I'm not that flexible. If I could right? do that, I would. I'd like to but see I, Matt even try and sit cross cross applesauce. I feel like if you're sitting in the first off, sitting in the first place, jacket no, off is Tim, weird. We're not on your side no more. Style, we're just on that guy's just side. Punching yourself in the balls constantly. Uh, well, yeah, but I, I wish I could try it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you're you're basically sitting Indian style, just punching yourself in the balls. Oh, sorry, if so, I could sit Indian style, I'd be punching myself in the balls now. Applesauce? You can't say Indian style. I I told myself I'm not applying for another job in my life. Like I, I'm working at the job I am now until I make enough money with this thing where I can not work anymore. But I'm retracting that all now. I'm going to apply for a job at a warehouse. I'm not hiring. So you. I can <laughs> sit on top of a mini fridge, Indian style, and yank one out. You could do that anywhere. You don't gotta quit your job, get another job at a 
freaking warehouse. Oh, it'd be a side job. It'll be shut fun. up. <laughs> I mean, he's already doing it, but like, if he did that way, he wouldn't have to look at the cow's ass. When Don't you have that. a mini fridge at your work? I'm like, not condoning this idea <laughs> at all. I'm just. <laughs> bro, I was like, I don't get on, work your, get on your mini fridge, bitch. Why does it have to do with it? I'm thinking anatomically this thing because this shut is anatomically. Cool no, I, I, I can't shut up. I cannot get over the crisscross applesauce because yeah. if I could jerk off like that, I'd do it. Legs forward, you hide your balls and it's okay. <laughs> no, no. No, Indian style, you are punching yourself in the balls. If I can do that and look at my boss and say, get out while I finish, like he did to you, basically. <laughs> well, he basically looked at you and said, hey, office? bitch, get out of here. I'm right, so fucking beaten off. Contact with you. Like, did, did he wink? No. Did he we not? Made eye contact. Was he just like, yeah, you know what's up. You, no. Not only that, you know what you, you know, saw. You he know. Five, he, he said it took five minutes. So you know he was like. It took uh, longer than that. All the whole time he was faxing and then looking in the other room. He was like boner killer. When I was asked, I'm going to go ahead and just knock kid. this one out. This is the amount of time. I open the door. I notice what I'm noticing. It seriously took like open the door. One, two, three, four, like maybe four and a half, five seconds of me making eye contact with him and slamming the door as quick as I could. Did you just so Tim it? waited until Tim got a direction. Well, I had to jack one off too while I was waiting for him to come into the hallway. The thing so, took no, we figured. We figured. Did you did you ah and then <laughs> slam the door? No, he was I, more like, uh what I want to know. I want to know if I made a noise because I, I opened the door and it was just like I it, it was like it took a second for my eyes to adjust and then it took uh, a second. If you sounded like an old southern at. woman, that would have been the best. Like, oh heavens. <laughs> heavens to Betsy. Oh my Betsy. <laughs> God bless. Heaven to Betsy. Oh my. No, but also the funniest thing also is that there is a super comfortable leather reclining that's what chair i wanted to ask next to him why wasn't he sitting he was sitting on a fucking refrigerator uh sometimes tim weird. you gotta switch shit up make it fucking weird maybe it's cold uh ryan's ryan's watching we're gonna invite him in on this deal oh oh god Did you know that him? uh the, actually that basically that same exact thing happened to uh my stepdad. One of the guys oh, really? here looking at the. He was yeah, yeah. Cross. What? So, well, so one of the guys that was working at the farm at the time. Oh, this happened to Ross? Yeah. So there's On like. A you know, we, no, not quite that interesting. <laughs> but you know how we have like houses at the farm for people to live in? Well, right. one of his employees uh, has a, had a, at the time had a house right next to the scale house. But he had not shown up for work that morning. So, uh, which is pretty normal with people that live on farmhouses. He just went and walked into it. And uh, he, he walked, he's like, Where the, why is he not ha fucking hauling these loads? So he walked in. He walked, he goes, hey, Jake. And as he walked in, he looked at him and he was sitting on the recliner with his pants around his ankles. But <laughs> this is back in the day. So he had a Playboy. And he goes, huh. <laughs> he shoved a Playboy on his fucking erect peni, and that's what he was, he was beaten off. <laughs> and Ross goes, uh, I guess I'll come back. <laughs> <sighs> Cross-legged yeah. Indian style on a mini fridge. This guy had only been like five office, foot, 100 pounds. In a warehouse office, that... No, this dude was this dude was probably like really maybe six foot, probably like six inches. <laughs> well, six inches around. <laughs> well, you got a good look then. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a tuna can. Tim was like <laughs> <laughs> as long as I can get McKinley to laugh, I'm just yeah. happy. <laughs> That's not hard to do with this guy. What are you talking about? I know. 
<laughs> known the guy for like 12, 15 years. <laughs> it's super easy to get him to laugh. Ah, uh, well. I've known him since he was 10. Say one big <laughs> joke. <He's laughs> laughing. That's all it takes. <laughs> I'm going to get my weird arm fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I'm having a good time. <laughs> back, does he still do it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he does. Does he still do this shit? Yeah, yeah I want. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I want to be like, quit with the stupid, <laughs> stupid, stop it. <laughs> Your arm is not broken. <laughs> yeah, well, at first I was like, why is he all impressed like that? I mean, it was just like a two day kind of a thing, and I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> McKinley, you remember you remember when uh Radke got Bell's palsy? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was like 23 years old with that Bell's That's the funniest palsy. shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, that sounds hilarious. <laughs> that was goddamn funny. <laughs> so 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 in that watching. Hey, me too. No, no, no. <laughs> so Radke, Radke's from a uh, um, uh, not Walsh, Brush. He's from Brush, uh, yeah. another little podunk town. <laughs> but not not close to Walsh. No, no. not no. <laughs> So he shows up. We were all playing baseball on the same team, and McKinley would come to all of our games and hang out in the stands and get drunk. And uh, no. he shows up to this game. Cost money. Remember, him and I were the only pitchers on this team. And, um, Radke, and you should have actually had Matt because he's a great catcher. Oh. <laughs> In the bedroom. So, so really? we, we, we show up at this game and Radke's about to pitch. And he shows up and his face is all melted down like this. Like, <laughs> he, he can't do anything like his entire side right side of his face is just melted down like it looked like a candle <laughs> and he walks into the dugout and aaron and i and nick go up to him we're like dude we need to get to the hospital like, <laughs> this is bad like you're having a stroke right now <laughs> you're stroking out bro he, no, he, ryan he, hello hello yeah! hello hello <laughs> there she is. He's not sitting on his What's mini up, fridge. buddy? Yeah, where's your mini fridge? Hey, oh fuck, my mini fridge. Let me go outside real quick. I'm gonna go <laughs> Indian style. But the difference <laughs> is, is, I think I can go full banana hammock. Oh, hell yeah! Where that motherfucker was? You said he was in a pink shirt. Yeah, dude. dude I told you this at the uh, country club the other day. I know, man. I don't understand Look it. at these fucking yuppies. Oh, so is it Mr. Gator Country, country Club. club. <laughs> 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 fucking yuppies. Hey, man, I, love you love I love the golf. I love the golf. I love the golf. Nothing wrong with that. I, I'm a, here's the deal. I've killed more right, animals than Tim has. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, no Ryan's dear. also, wearing, Ryan's also wearing McKinley's oh, yeah. defense glasses. <laughs> Hey, what's wrong with my glasses? Wait, all three of you fuckers are wearing the same yeah, look at you guys. glasses. You right same glasses. Yeah, right okay, Tim, that would make you. <laughs> hey, it's past 10 p.m. on a fucking like Friday. It. Exactly. Fuck you, Tim. Thank you. I'm and sorry, you don't have perfect don't vision. You, bud, and I agree with you fully. <laughs> yeah, that won't last. It's not long. contact season, it's, it's way past contact time. It's, it's winter, it's, bitch. We wear glasses. Is having like this perfect hair and also like perfect vision at my age. Hey, Tim. Also, hey, you're like, like <laughs> look at this, Tim. I, I got a couple of hairs growing. The peaches and I got a couple. I got a couple. <laughs> oh, you got like a. Mm, mm. You can jack off to this, Mister. Sit on the fucking uh, mini fridge. We go sit on the mini fridge. Yeah, no. All right, so, is the top of the mini fridge cold? Do you think? Oh, that's probably what it was. That'd be a great feeling. Only thing, only thing I can think of is the vibration. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, well, if it's like, like, uh, old, it's like, like early old, early Varsity Blues, blues right? Bridge. Like oh, yeah. the old movie Varsity Blues where the chick is wants yeah. to mm-hmm. fucking get fucked oh, up. Oh, yeah, on the, on the on wash. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Yeah. I go, that's nothing. Only Not thing much. I could think of. <laughs> I have three, dude. Brian, I'm, I'm doing like, everything in my power right now to get Rebecca to run away. And <laughs> it hasn't worked yet. I was going to say, man, the quick. 20 minutes I've been in listening to this conversation. I think she's locked in, but freaking Coors Lights like it's her job. I'm almost done with this too, so it's probably I'm gonna be sleeping here in a minute. So. <laughs> nope. I've like how, what, is, and by the way, Matt, the wind, I've had a cruise your wife not know the beautiful golden belly beard. How does she not know? <laughs> I she's had them before. She is you guys mad. have been married a long time. Why is this like spectacular? How does she not know? <clears throat> this is my go-to winter. No, he always. Do you always have course light? In or the summer. Keystone. In the summer. In the summer. And in the winter, it's it's yellow. I don't pay attention. No. It's, it's your pack of white beer, bud. That's right. I'm bulking up. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I need. Getting swole. I got swole since Thanksgiving. <laughs> so, so McKinley, Ryan and I are coming out not not this year, but next year to your place to uh do some dove hunting. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. No, you're not invited. I, no, I agree with you, Rebecca. Oh, okay. 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 Time Robbie, out. Time Robbie's, out. Robbie's definitely not uh, invited. Rebecca, Tim obviously has like a real problem with you, and we probably should get to like to the bottom of it right now. Of what? Tim, why do you say Rebecca? Oh, yeah. where do I start? <laughs> <laughs> what? You're going to get roasted. Let, let me so get hard, a beer Tim. and we'll dig into this. <laughs> Tim, I'm sorry. I'm, couch I'm sorry, Tim. You're going to get roasted, son. Not a good look. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Uh, you should be, probably. <laughs> Robbie. So, anyway, Ryan, this is Robbie. <laughs> Robbie, this is Ryan. <laughs> hey, Ryan. Oh, again. Yeah. Right, my wife's passed Robbie. out. It's Valentine's Day. I should be upstairs in bed with my beautiful wife at 10. 10 you probably should. Uh, I don't know. No, How long has she been your it wife? It was way more intriguing. To be yeah, see, uh, I've known my wife since uh, fourth grade, and we're rednecks, and she's like, if you fucking buy me something that's going to die in a week, I'm going to fucking slit your throat. I was like, well, guess what? I guess spend the money on that shit anyway. Ryan, Ryan, you get this hat in like a couple weeks. Hey man, I don't need to get it. I don't need a Bernie Sanders gift, but I'll go buy one from. I'll go I'm buy giving, one from Matt. I'm giving you this hat. You're giving me that. No, hat. he's saying he's not a Bernie Sanders. He doesn't need you giving him shit. I don't want fucking Bernie Sanders. No, you, you, I'm not giving it to. You. I, I, I'm gifting it to you because it's fucking different retarded. story. <laughs> different story. Yeah, yeah. Way different story. I'm down to gift it. Yeah, I, I, I'll take this, your gift all day. Do I have looks, to? Do I have this to hat looks like a refrigerator? This hat looks like McKinley embroidered it with He's his... like, do I have to watch you do it? Do I have to do it? Yeah. Like, please? <laughs> I'm more intrigued to see if you can do it Indian style. I'm more intrigued about that, to be honest with you. Well, like, I, I mean, I would watch that just to see the mechanics of it. Right. See, I agree with you. The biomechanics. The biomechanics. Bio uh, bio off, jacking off Indian style, you're punching yourself in the balls. Indian, no. My point. Indian. Yeah, and you the know what? Tim? You of it fired a guy sense. who was literally defying fucking physics. Yes. <laughs> really you fired Einstein. He's yes. right. Let's You're be honest. He fired himself. You fired Elon Musk. That's what you did. <laughs> the Elon Musk of masturbating for sure. <laughs> Seriously, Tim, you're a piece of work. You need Jesus. <laughs> Jesus didn't jack Dude, you're gonna get you're gonna get jacked, jacked off. Who do you think was guiding that guy? Who do you think was guiding him? You're gonna get jerk off death threats, Tim. God, son. The shocker. You're getting jerk off death threats for sure. Yeah. Wow. Tim, we're all On against the third you. day he did uh, not jack off Indian style. Of course not. It was a fourth day. I feel like there's a difference. It was the fourth fucking day. Indian style and while sitting. Indian style. I'm sorry. Okay, so first Maybe off, none of, us here, oh, none of us here can do that. Details. So it was obviously Dave. led by God because Free we can't do it. What was this guy's name? No, you can't say his name. I know Dave. his name. His name was like, Jesus Christo. Jesus Shut up, Robbie. You're Christo. on the wrong 
Steve. I'm trying to imagine that. Steve, his name was Steve. Uh, Hashtag free Steve. (laughs) (laughs) I wish his name was Willie. Now that you said it. (laughs) Hashtag free Willie. (laughs) (laughs) So we know Tim fired Jesus. I just. (laughs) No, he was sitting crisscross applesauce. That's Hindi. Tim, yeah, my question is, is, where is this lawsuit? What happens? It's, it's done. It's still going? The, the reason I'm allowed to talk about it right now is it finally got dismissed. I thought you had an NDA, so that's why I was setting everything. So it's done. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, they, they won. Or they settled. They, or what? He won. No, 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 no. I think Fisher won. Well, if they settled. Oh, Fisher. So now we know. Have, like, it's either. I was say, write that down, Robbie. Write won. that down. Yeah. Down. Yeah, yeah. You aired that, not me. You. Can I? Can I tell you guys the greatest part about the story? And I cannot There's wait more, to see two greatness. people's face right now. Yeah, let's hear it. The greatest part about this story is the guy's name, actual name, was Nick Hansen. Nick Hansen. No. Oomba Oomba fucking jerk. Oomba do up, do up, do up. Get up, get up, get up. Oh my god. Spelled the same as Nick and Eric Hansen. (laughs) You filed you fired your childhood fucking hero. I held out hopes for them two being gay. Because (laughs) well they tried. They tried. Now they both got wiped up. They tried to be gay. They were uh, Tweak and Craig before Tweak and, Tweak and Craig were a thing. They each know what each other's BB is like. I enjoyed that thoroughly. <laughs> yeah, they both. No. <laughs> Tweak and Craig. <laughs> Nick Hansen. I was like. So wait a minute. So it must be done. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sure. It's done. It's over. Yeah. It's over. So Thank who you. the fuck won? I thought you, you don't even know who won? I think I think Fisher won, or they might have settled. Whatever the the story's over. But I, 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 I had to go this guy got money out of it. You know what it was? Dude, Tim Tim got, got Tim money for jerking off the refrigerator. Tim sent a, a video of him jerking off, and not okay. Okay, well that's that's fair. <laughs> he was going to use this money from the settlement to uh, create his own line of uh, that'd be way better. Like pink shirts, pink shirts and how to uh, jack off sitting <laughs> style. Off tutorials the only reason i seems sent- like well <laughs> yeah good for you this is how i do it oh my the only reason i sent a video of me in a pink shirt jacking off to the judge was for justice clarification <laughs> tim was like okay yeah you can sit crisscross applesauce have you ever seen a dude jigger, jerk off on his face you're welcome like the judge is like i don't believe you and tim is like <laughs> let me demonstrate Bet. I couldn't do it. I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> He's like, watch in my mouth, in my mouth, one shot. Here we go. Tim, serious question: When you have sex with your wife, do you visualize him? Not anymore. <laughs> no, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't move. Oh. And, that's, and, that's, and that's where Ro draws the line. Rose out. That's where she draws the line. <laughs> <laughs> how, <laughs> like the serious question is, is how long did it last how long was that Five pierced seconds. into your brain just during the vinegar strokes <laughs> but what, what was the vinegar strokes <laughs> god bud uh, <laughs> I feel like you need like Jesus. counseling yeah I feel like you need counseling well actually this is a good form Speak you know what's it. funny is next I weekend did. Ryan's gonna be hanging out with me and my wife. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know my wife was uh, like, I, I showed her this video of like this whole chat stream going on, and she's she literally passed out about three minutes into it, and that's why I started sending shit. I was like, fuck, this is a better <laughs> time to join this conversation than now. So we we'll, might as well just do it. Uh, <laughs> he's good. like i'm pretty sure that tim couldn't speak any of this and i was like i thought he was under like pretty tight nda so clearly <laughs> everything the nda worked out is completely dissolved and i got emails and everything saying yeah you're you're off the hook he's like, hey tim you're off the hook again talk about yeah. people beating off in front of you <laughs> <laughs> tim you're off the now, hook again now That's i'm off the uh, 
the the, the 95th rated uh, <laughs> agriculture iPod podcast on earth. We we got, <laughs> we got two viewers, I think, right now. Hey, y'all need to go to fuck the bed because this is trash. <laughs> no, this is better than Jerry Springer, bud. <laughs> well, it was way better than Jerry Springer, especially oh, the time that Tim. So Tim had that whole racist thing pop up. He fired some black dude, whatever. Oh, Mexican dude. Good memes, yeah. bud. All these memes, these racist ass memes. And he's like, dude, you gotta stop sending me this shit. It's like you're gonna get <laughs> fired. And I was like, that's my that's my that's my job. Like I feel like I have an obligation to society. Oh, you, you, have, you, continue, you were like, I hope you get fired. Bitch. Yeah, to continue to just fuel this fire. I have an obligation. So I'm going to continue to send you the fucking most fucked up racist me I can find, man. Just a, a glancing blow of what happened, and I would just get inundated with fucking oh. horrible racist memes. Oh, it's great. <laughs> it was great. you so much more right now. That's awesome. Oh, it was great, man. And, it, and it's sad because I lost that, that meme account whatever I have was gone. And now all I get my meme, my memes from is burning daylight. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, now I respect you a lot less because most of those are for me. So that's, oh, that's, that's kind of sad. Uh, no, it's not sad. It's good, man. You're re you're, you're feeling my fire, which I disperse to all of my friend group. And it's a, it's a beautiful thing, but they think I'm the original motherfucker and I got to tell them I'm not. And then they're like, Where did you get? <laughs> and then I tell them, burning daylight when obviously it's coming from you robbie so Robbie's a whole <laughs> well you Robbie's should probably a... tell him yeah that's me motherfucker i'm a genius no <laughs> i can't yeah. do that man no that's copyright infringement i'm not down with that yeah uh that's <laughs> all i do buddy uh, uh still memes that's kind of my thing <laughs> i'm not down with that shit no no Look at him, i uh fucking redneck ass and be like oh yeah he's a mastermind yeah he's <laughs> shit he just still <laughs> memes so, Tim, can I have an honest conversation with you real quick while we're on air and everything? Yeah. When was the last time you've seen your hunter's safety, like your hunter's safety license, the orange tag that everybody gets when they actually pull a hunter's safety tag? Somewhere in here. He's probably going to have to ask his wife. Matt, when was the last time you've seen Tim's hunter's safety? I've never seen Tim's. You have, too. Weird. I have never. Well, <laughs> we're not talking penises, bro. <laughs> absolutely have two and the reason not, why i bring this up tim is is that i want to go hunting with you but i don't believe you have a hunter safety button. i have my hunter safety and also we're gonna go get our concealed carry are we i have a hunter safety license. see i, yeah. I live in can i live in Kansas. Tim, i gotta we call you out have, right now man we don't have to have a stage. government issued license i have a uh, hunt carry. yep I, I can I carry a weapon every day. I don't have to have a, a, a little green or orange card to go hunt. I do of course, all my shit. The one I got when I was like 16 was not orange either. The orange. So well, yeah, you probably got it from a goddamn democratic state. No, I think it's green. <laughs> was your instructor sitting it's been orange, in style on a mini fridge? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> how many votes have you like got? My hunter saved me. Is, is it green. 10 or 20? I don't remember. It's around here somewhere. But no. Uh, also, we're going to go get our... I have a coupon to, for couples to go a get... Coupon? In so I hate we're... how this is going. <laughs> no, Ryan and I... You're avoiding my conversation. We can get our concealed carry. I don't believe you have a hunter safety, and it scares me to go hunting with you because I don't know if you could properly First off, utilize the weapon. No, no, no. No, hunting. no, Tim. I'm on his side. I've been peppered by dumbasses. Thank you. I've been peppered. It's not a good time. I've not fun, bud. No. I don't want to get shot. I don't want to get Dick Cheney. No. Nope. I've been hunting. I have been Dick Cheney. Plus times. And I think Tim also, may be behind the trigger. <laughs> my point. I'm an Eagle Scout. <laughs> <laughs> He's that, an Eagle Scout, goddammit. So he Dude, may pepper you and then you have to in the ass. You don't know. Was Dick Cheney your hunter safety instructor, and was he sitting cross-legged no, on a mini? Like Darth Vader. That's good. That's really good. 
Drinky Rubies. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> Are we going just, hunting? Is that what you're just, saying? Just wouldn't stop talking about Iraq the whole time. <laughs> That's <why I'm> <laughs> <laughs> good. Halliburton, say Halliburton again once more. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, say it good. like you mean it. <laughs> like you mean it. Fucking Tim. Oh. <laughs> like what you did, Matt, you wrecked him. You fucking wrecked him. <laughs> like you gotta come like those jokes can't come that fast. You gotta come one at a time. <laughs> oh. Son of a bitch, Tim. What do you think of the? Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say this, this conversation more for real quick. Tim, what do you think of the uh, hunter safety game? What do you do? You, do you agree with it? Do you think everybody should get a hunter safety? Because clearly, no. I don't think you have. I honestly don't think anyone needs to have any kind of certification that they have a gun. Tim, I did it when I was like fucking twelve. I did it when I was like 14 when I was an Eagle Scout in Boy Scouts. Like you have to Well, have I'm from your- Kansas. We do shit weird. I thought you had to be like 25 to be an Eagle Scout and you know <laughs> and jerk off somebody. <laughs> yeah, you had to jerk off some kid. You have to kill a dog with a bow. <laughs> Well, it must be a Catholic. Shooting a shotgun with your mouth. <laughs> That's only to get Life Scout, motherfucker. <laughs> Lion Scout. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I only sucked one dick. It was one dick. <laughs> and the only difference between Lion forever. Scout and Bear Scout is Bear Scout, you have to speak with a Russian accent and drink vodka. <laughs> It was <laughs> hey, it was <laughs> fun, <laughs> it was a fun, very good dick. looking dick. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this has devolved into a shit show, and I love it. Oh, I love, I, <laughs> I love it. Thoroughly enjoy. I, honestly, it's more fun that's on Valentine's Day, to be honest with you. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that's my favorite Valentine's part. Day special. I, I we actually I didn't know that Tim was going to be on the show tonight, but ah, uh, it's glorious. You're welcome. Tim, why are you wearing a camel shirt, bud? Because he wants to be invisible. He, he's he in my shoulders. Downtown. This is my he's like, if I'm going to be on this redneck podcast, like I got to fit in. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I wear this stupid fucking retarded hat. <laughs> Don't like a lie. It's a good looking hat, man. It's a good looking hat if it wasn't fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I gotta say is it's I, need to wear, I, need to, I need to take my right shoe off so my left shoe's up so like I'm like this thing's fucked up <laughs> <laughs> it's like on a uh, slant Tim you just happy Gilmore this entire chat I know I know <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing this hat god bud yeah. I mean yeah, I, I, I've thoroughly, I, I've waited to to join this chat. I've, it's been fun to watch all the conversations and whatnot. So it's, it's nice to finally be on it. I'm not gonna lie to you. At the same uh, time, I did not expect to join during Tim's jerk off story. Um, oh, it couldn't <laughs> happen at a better time. It, this could not have happened at a better time. I like, I'm, I'm, I'm laying, in, Ryan, I'm laying I'm in bed it. with my wife, watching this shit. I was like, "Fuck, man." I, I, if I don't chime in, I I'm not doing my disservice. I I I'm like really Ryan. Ryan's my dude. This is he's fucking hilarious. Ah. I'm doing everybody a disservice. So Ryan's like further, Tim talking about jacking off. I better get on. For yeah. 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 Hey, hey, hey when, when you're talking like. Indian style on a mini fridge, come on. That's what come <laughs> on. <laughs> and, and again, I go I go to the biomechanics of it, right? So think about naturally when you take a shit. So they always say you, you've heard of the new poop stools. Has anybody heard of the new that, poop the stools? squatty potty? Squatty yeah, potty. I have. Now I'm not gonna lie to you. I own a squatty potty, and it's changed my life. It really has. I've heard they're awesome. You're they're fantastic. But you, you, yeah, I just like to do this. Yeah. You don't <laughs> actually have one. I do. No. Yeah. No way. I don't. Oh yeah, yeah. I do you want me to right. show? I'll go upstairs. Oh yeah, yeah. Right now, show me. Yeah, 
Okay. Right. Fuck yeah. It's gonna no, be, we're it's on gonna a, be, we're on a, a little journey. dark. It's gonna be a little dark. Hold on. Right. Hold on, hold on. Aaron, Aaron bought you a squatty potty, didn't he? There's no, no way this motherfucker has a squatty potty. Oh yeah, bro. Hold on. Oh, there's a good chance. There's a very good chance Ryan has one. Oh, fuck, I'm jealous. Oh, this is just compelling. How do I flip this? Right now. I love it. Oh. Squatty oh, potty. Oh my god. Fuck yeah. Got one. Fuck yeah. That's awesome. Dude, and it's I'm sorry, my son's sleeping. Hold on. It's a game changer, man. And here's the reason why. Naturally, the human body is supposed to No, no, no. To... No, no. You don't have to explain. Because oh. I've thought this. I've I Okay, so I've got two young kids and we've got like their little potty they can use. Uh I have totally used that to prop my legs up. Like a squatty potty is is fucking bro- is brilliant. Dude, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. No, yeah. It's, no, I'm in. It, I mean, I use it for my own accord. I make my own squatty potty. It's a clean shit. Like it's the cleanest. I've had more zero wipes on this that squatty potty very than I've ever had in my life. Audio, but like, <laughs> yeah, I'm in. So, so I'm, like, if you can, if you can take a zero wipe shit, you've accomplished your day. Oh, that's oh yeah. Mind. Like you should be awarded a, like a. Presidential Medal of Freedom every time, dude. It's kind of like I'm telling yeah, you. It's like, like I take Mario, my kids' yeah. little potty and I prop my legs up on it. One. It's a good shit. It's a very good shit. Yes, it's it's, and there's nothing better. My thought is there's three best things in life, right? Fucking in my mind, coming. Second thing is making my wife come, and third thing is a zero wipe shit. So if I can accomplish I all three of those that. in a month, okay, you okay, I'm in. Ryan for president, like when if you I can accomplish, if I can accomplish, yeah, all you running, are month. you running for 2020? <laughs> if I can accomplish all three of those, sponsored in a month, by Bernie, like, coming, month. coming, and shitting. Yeah, that's right. my that's the beautiful thing, dude. You only scratch the surface. You're, so the only terrible. caveat is your uh, your official <laughs> campaign page has to be burning dash daylight dot com, and so they go there, and it just shows nothing but memes, <laughs> just memes. <laughs> it's like it's like Matt coming with some clever shit, and then Robbie shit posting. Ryan, <laughs> Ryan coming on his squatty potty. Dude, and and that's the other conversation is <laughs> no, it is. Think, no, 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 no. That's what you're you're segueing. Yeah, hey, you're segueing. That was an excellent segue, Tim. You you are you're segueing yeah, into yeah, my you're wrong, Tim. Is oh, right. the biometrics of taking a shit is the squatty potty, right? It opens up the entire body. It allows a full fledged dump to happen. When you're sitting down without the squatty potty, you're actually constricting your internal intestines which doesn't help you shit properly i've actually okay i'm a little embarrassed but i have actually read into this yes and this motherfucker's right yeah Yeah. like that's legit it's very true i've I've read into it as as well no it's it's very it's very true like if your legs are up you shit better you should it's an actual fact it's the natural way to take a shit everybody think about the human i mean we're fucking animals dude we should not be shitting on a toilet we should be sitting and shitting in the fucking world in the earth outside Mm -hmm. where our fucking body where we should be living next podcast we're all shitting and we (laughs) (laughs) you know what i mean we should be shitting like a fucking animal so we've got a we've got a series coming up folks uh i know you're you're enthralled number one we're all going to be squatting and shitting. Number two, we're all going to be cross-legged on a mini fridge. <laughs> so that's my, but that's it's my question, though. It's my Raftopolis because from a biometric perspective. You love that. <laughs> again, from a biometric perspective, it doesn't – Indian style jerking off just – it does. it's constricting. Like yes. literally it's against – Everything. That's why it was so brilliant. It was against everything. Like I, that guy should have been hired on. You should have promoted. It's kind of like, like that dude. That dude, like he was like his big sexual fantasy was to choke chicks while they come. That's fucking weird in my mind. I'm not a big fan of like that. I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but like choking people, right. trying to get them to fucking. Yeah, my point. Well, okay. Like, There's this he's well, basically uh, doing okay. that. To time, out, time out. Time uh, out. I'm off from you, Ryan, because you're not doing it right. You don't want them to fucking lose their air. You just want them to lose a little bit of restriction. 
but is it, is that's what the, you're doing. Tummy, that's what you're doing to your dick tummy. is you're you're literally restricting your dick to perform properly, and it's the same thing from the other aspect. So it's it, it dude the whole okay. Thing so what I've gathered from weird. this is is Tim's a pre comer. No, it's fine. Like it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Roman it's swipes, bud. You, use use Roman swipes. Decent Roman strategy. swipes. You need to sponsor us, you douchebag. Sponsor us. Ryan, it's funny because McKinley and Robbie have had uh, podcasts talking about how Tim has uh, like got a girl way out of his league. So I'm okay with this entire conversation. That's a fact. <laughs> but but you did. You did. She's <laughs> a dancer, and I always suspect because I've never seen her dance before. But I'm always thinking like La Bohem. Or Diamond Cabaret. I'm okay Shotgun. with that. Am I going to see her shotguns on a Tuesday? I don't well, know. if you talk to uh, Matt's father, Diamond Cabaret is the greatest place to get a steak. It's beautiful. I saw McKinley. No, I saw Rob get kicked out of Diamond Cabaret once. No, I never get they don't like you and I there. That's the thing. I got his bottle, That's the thing, though, about the Diamond Cabaret. They don't like juice. No. <laughs> yeah. It might have been Rob that got kicked out then. No, it was AJ. You remember? Oh Jesus! Yeah, it was the high school. No, that wasn't. He, he that was. was uh, your, what's the? It was always your loose cannon, right? Yeah. What was the? It wasn't Diamond. It was the other. The one owned by Diamond Cabaret, but the the other one. What's it? Lava. Lava Hame. Lava Hame. Yeah. So we. I think it was for Brad's bachelor party. No, it was, we, it was we rolled Aaron. up. It was Aaron's. It was Aaron. So we rolled up like 10, 15 people deep, and. uh we're, we're waiting in line and now it was brad's because i was the be the best man so i had to i had to run the whole thing i was like all right we're all in and uh guys like cool 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 you're out <laughs> aj who's uh he he lived on the same hall in the dorms as us and he's about yay tall um little red-headed fucker and, oh i know uh, him like, yeah i know him yeah <clears throat> got a he's got a really hot wife I was gonna say his uh, wife is way out of his league yes way out of his league uh well done the more so they're like, fuck. They're like you guys are cool uh, he can't league. come in and it was just shortly after stock show and aj regularly works stock show and and uh apparently regularly visits the strip clubs after stock show and uh, they're just like, no, they didn't give no explanation. They just said, uh, you guys are cool, except for him. And I'm like, oh, oh, all right. So we we wind up going to uh, Diamond Cabaret. And then we find out why AJ gets kicked out of all these strip clubs. Because he's like, no, no, you can't just throw dollars on the stage. You've got to build something so it catches the strip <laughs> Dude's an engineer of stripper and ingenuity. <laughs> stripper yeah, ingenuity. he's, he's a psychologist ingenuity. and an engineer all at the same time. <laughs> Dude, I don't to know get the how, full Tim, stripper I don't know experience. How puts up with your bullshit. <laughs> Seriously, we don't. We don't. Right? We don't. So, can we talk about Ryan's bachelor party where a bunch of people got in trouble for riding on the top of the uh, bus down I twenty? Hey, that that just means that was a good party. Yeah, saying. <clears throat> so I wasn't there. I'm just saying that that means that was probably a good party. That was a good party buddies, crack open the uh, crack open the uh, emergency the emergency exit, exit in the on bus the top of this uh, uh, like limo thing, and are riding it down I-25. <laughs> so awesome! My you, buddies, you couldn't do that today. There's my, no way well, you could do that today. But yeah, that was like two years ago. On I twenty five today, you'd be pulled over by the first fucking. Exit. Oh no! This was this is not that long ago. The funny it was thing two is years ago. that I had to leave the party. Three years ago, Aaron Aaron bitched out, and I had to go take care of Aaron. And Nick was not like, Aaron. Yeah, Nick, Nick was <laughs> texting. Aaron. Us, Nick was texting us on the drive back, going, "What the fuck did you guys do?" Because he had to go get his truck. At Ryan's house, and all these guys were like climbing on top of this like party bus, oh, <laughs> going on five, going seventy five miles an hour. So my sister, we... my sister lives on one hundred forty fourth, 
and I use I-25 a lot, and that is a fucking disaster. I can't imagine driving down and seeing a bunch of dumbasses on the fucking roof of a party. <laughs> <It's awful>. <laughs> Tim is missing the best part of this, and so my buddies from a, like from high school and shit. Our biggest thing was I don't, we're just vandalists, bro. Like we're yeah. just vandalists and shit. And we always, at every one of our bachelor parties, we always stole something of importance. Keyword, stole something of importance. So my bachelor party, this this stripper rolls up at Labo, or at Diamond Cabaret. We got kicked out of, we got kicked out of Diamond. This was at no. We got kicked out of Shotguns. We got kicked out of Dirty Dance. Which is dirty a Dirty Dance. <laughs> it's a feat to get kicked out of Dirty Dance. That's, that's yeah, that's t- impressive. It's a feat. That's um, t- and uh so we got kicked out of four of the five shotgun or strip clubs in Denver and we ended up at fucking at at uh diamond I think it was diamond. No it's shotgun. Are you shotgun? shotgun? About- then we got kicked oh, out of diamond and we got was- ended up at shotgun. You guys are fucking delinquents. <laughs> and Dude, this and the bad. stripper rolls up in this, this unicorn. Bad. The stripper rolls up in this unicorn unicorn onesie. Like a <laughs> unicorn onesie. <laughs> Awesome. He takes it all, like unzips it or whatever. She's fucking gnarly. And (laughs) I looked at my brother and I'm not going to, I'm on live air, so I'm not going to speak who my brother is, but I I looked at my brother and and (laughs) I was like, Scott, I'm going to, like, I'm (laughs) going to steal steal it. I'm not going to call him out, but my brother Scott. (laughs) I was like, Scott, I'm going to steal her onesie. And he goes, whatever, dude. (laughs) So I snuck over. And like I basically gave my buddy like twenty dollars in ones, and I snuck over and fucking sniped her onesie, hid it underneath my like shirt. I want to kick you guys no, no, out no, no, right no, no, now, no, no. dude. This no, chick was there. doing like dances and shit on me, whatever. She was there for like maybe 20, 30 minutes, and then my like literally popped up and just booked out of the strip club. <laughs> and we, I was like, we all gotta fucking go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Everybody gets on the bus, and this chick comes out. In fucking basically topless, she was topless with fucking yeah. panties on outside. She'd be like, the motherfucker stole my onesie, blah, blah, blah. Like, I have nothing else to wear. Like, you could hear her <laughs> screaming because the windows were open in the bus. You could hear her screaming. Oh, she Next must thing you know, new. dude, we've got like everybody in this bus is where it's like rotating wearing her fucking onesie. And then shit pops up like they're on the roof of this fucking bus driving down I 25 in a unicorn onesie. But the coolest awesome. part about this onesie is this onesie was like the sisterhood, the whole the old book sisterhood is traveling pants, whatever the fuck that bullshit is. And it had a dildo, and you guys all fucked each other with it. Wait, it wait, was wait. brotherhood of the traveling stripper oh, onesie. Brotherhood. Onesie- we fucked. <laughs> My wife, I brought it home. I put it on my banister, and my wife came home the next morning, and she goes, "What the fuck is this?" And I was like, "I stole this stripper's onesie. Like, this is what happened. This was the night. Like, that's what it was." My wife goes, would literally have fucked my world up if I didn't. No, 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 no. no, no. And she looked, she giggled about it. Was like on this bus when we were like peeling out of the parking lot of uh, shotguns was everyone's throwing this onesie around and you know how much of a germaphobe i am oh god this, <laughs> this onesie somehow got thrown at my head and tied in this story <laughs> goes, is, oh, i promise oh, you the story gets better oh so, it gets was it was it no, i promise you the story gets better kobe was accused by because that would be epic <laughs> oh shit <laughs> especially now we're talking oh. millions it's not yeah, funny millions. it was funny but now it's not funny <laughs> so, no, it's still too soon fun. too soon i don't think it's too soon i'm, I'm having fun. a good time no good a good <laughs> joke's never I'm, too soon <laughs> 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 so i i got married in hey, that was a great song. i'm a piece of shit so <laughs> <laughs> I got married in Charleston uh, uh, at a slave plantation, which I think is hilarious. Anyway, nice. um, so <laughs> there. So, we're, Tim's my, like, my family owned your slaves. My <laughs> Irish. I was I got the best part. <laughs> yeah, right. They his family were the slaves. <laughs> <laughs> so don't laugh too hard, man. We're Irish. 
I didn't I realize, know. man. My wife actually packed the fucking unicorn onesie. I had no idea. She packed oh, it. Oh, that's awesome. Flew it out to fucking bitch. Charleston. Your wife is a badass bitch. She's a badass, man. I was yeah, so I'll be, obviously. Like, uh, I, like, I, uh, I can take a joke way too far. Dude, next thing you know, man, there's fucking people on the damn dance floor with unicorn onesies. The same one just is getting fucking passed around again. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, like, that's some level, badass. This is that's this awesome. is disgusting. Like it's fucking. Oh, awesome. yeah, that's awesome. Then I hear post wedding shit about people banging in hammocks in the <laughs> unicorn one, dude. dude. This is dude. my nightmare. This is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. Is this wedding? <laughs> It was bad, bud. That's a buddy no, of, it a sounds buddy awesome. I mean, I want. I wish I was mine, at the wedding. A buddy of mine still has it, and I'm look. I look at him every time. I'm like, dude, I don't. He's like, do you want it back? I was like, I don't know dude, how to answer. Dude, that I'm question. fucking forty. I'm fucking get rid of it. How do I answer that question? Like, no, but maybe. I maybe do I frame it? Like, that's a serious like, question. No, no. You say, hey, can do I, I smell frame? It? No. So do I see. frame it though? Do I just oh, frame it? Obviously. Just, do I? Obviously. Like, is that nasty as fuck? Is that Of weird? course it is. Of course it is. This frame is going to get awfully humid. That <laughs> 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 no, Never mind. Get rid of it. <laughs> Dude. That's worse than a fucking love sack, bud. Dude. I, I, I woke up with that thing. <laughs> I was so in, and then you guys like painted a, a, a vile picture. Why did you do that? I was in. So weddings, I generally do the the bow tie and the everything. Botox. Botox, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I so I wake up the next morning, and I had seen what had happened all the way through the night with this fucking onesie. <laughs> I I'm wake serious, up. Man. I That's like the epitome it. of like, whoa, 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 whoa. That what happened onesie was, needs its own HBO show. Dude, See, yeah. what had happened was, whoa, 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 what happened was. So McKinley, McKinley knows what kind of germaphobe I am. Oh, I yeah, wake, it's bad. It's awesome. I wake up on this, like, okay, so it's a fold away couch. So a couch that like folds into a. You woke up with a condom on your face. And you're <laughs> <laughs> worse. Worse. <laughs> Mine. Well, worse mine. Than, a, than a used condom on your face. It's a, it's a fold away bed. The fold away bed that like like folds into a I like don't know a, if that's like, worse. Size mattress. It's only halfway unfolded, and I'm asleep across it the wrong way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have, my, and Ryan's dick was in like my, under in my, no. face. In no, my no, slacks, no, no. In my slacks and like button up shirt with my bow tie. I wake up and I'm cuddling with this fucking unicorn onesie. <laughs> I'm like, I'm cuddling <laughs> you with would, it. you piece of shit, you would. I woke up and I almost threw up and I was you like, oh God, oh God, oh God. And I run outside and I'm just trying to get oxygen. And I'm like, <laughs> and my, wife so dramatic. my wife comes running out and she's like, what's wrong? I was like, did you see what I was cuddling with? Like, I fucked, I fucked this dude. Uh, I think I liked it. <laughs> like I thought it was funny, and I was like, "How fucking dare you, cunt!" And I was like, "Hold on a second. <laughs> And then I like uh, uh, somehow I I got it into a, a knot. <laughs> and, I went out and, and one of his buddies, one of the groomsmen in his wedding, was walking by, and I ran by, and he tied it like, in a knot around his head, and ran away, and. <laughs> Dude, the mere thing, the mere fact that that thing is still alive is an oh absolute. God. That's <laughs> probably the most disturbing part about all of this. No, uh, I just, I just by the way, you, are, you couldn't be more accurate. Text like, me a picture of that onesie, that. and that will be the cover art for this this podcast. <laughs> <My guys. laughs> hey, he was the ugliest <laughs> stripper yes. of the entire night. If I got you can have Tim. Yes, on your dress. That's the photo. Is that mm-hmm. the first? Is that the first C word dropped on your podcast? Oh fuck no! No, we're, no. no. Okay. Oh hey, 
did uh did it i don't know if you guys troll through the comments on on the page every every now and then they're pretty glorious at times they are it's pretty fun good. i got called a uh <laughs> yeah you what did. did i it was a uh uh you're a fucking uh Worthless fucking cunt piece of shit or so. Pedophile, uh, but, retarded pedophile cunt is what which I, I kind of agree with. Most of it. <laughs> well, most of it I got all but the pedophile part. I agree with, but I've called you worse. No, I literally on the uh, our little uh, chat. I was like, yeah, well, it, but you are kind of a cunt. <laughs> well, it was the pedophile part that I was. I did not agree with the rest of it. I can. I can. I can get behind. Yeah, you're not a pedophile, but you're still a cunt. So yeah, yeah, like I said, I can get behind the rest of it. It's uh, it's the pedophile part that got me. Like yeah, it, it got me a little triggered. Ryan is Bennett <laughs> awake. Is what? Is Bennett awake? Hell no, bro. I know. I'm just trying to. Boys. That's not. No, that's not my son. Who's God, baby? how weird! It, how weird is it to get old? It's weird, right? It's fucking weird, weird, dude. It is. I got stuck on the way. It's fucking really weird. I just ended, I was at a fucking car dealership all day. Can we have an honest conversation here? Can I vent a little bit? Oh yeah. I, I feel like oh, it's hey, getting out. Yeah. We are hundred percent real news I know I've here. Got a weird real light talk. Here in real the background and so let's have an honest conversation about the process of buying a vehicle, a motor vehicle. Oh, it's, it's fun, all. but it, it sucks. I, it's fun. It it's the absolute like castrate me, please. Like I that process is the most fucking terrible, terrible process of all kind. There couldn't yeah, be. I ran, I ran two that, red, man. like legit fucking red white. lights. The there last goes. time my wife. Positioning. There we go. Sorry. My lamp is sorry. So it is the worst because it, like it's the worst fucking thing in the, of all time. And it's like, guys, I'm trying to give you $30,000. Can you not make this easier? No, I'm serious. Like, can you not make this easier? How how hard, how much, how long does this have to take? How long must you have to drag this shit out to just basically have me sign a few pieces of paper and get me on my fucking way? Well, seriously, like they they know if like that they'll they can run your credit in like 10 minutes and like, okay, he's good for this amount of money. Yes. Make it fit. Just make it fit. Why does it take five hours? I don't exactly. I literally I, I don't know I really don't understand that. Do they do they feel like they need to keep you there to upsell you? Like if that's the case then just tell us. Like there's yeah. I'd rather know. But at it, it, some level it's like dude just fucking tell me. Like mm-hmm. I, am I good to go? So this guy we go through this entire process and at the very end of it I'm looking at him and he wants me to sign all his paperwork and I was like well what the fuck's our total? Like we've been you've been talking to me for 2 hours. Like, what's my percentage? Where the fuck do we stand? What the hell? What are we looking at? And he goes, well, they're still figuring it out. And I was like, dude, they've been back at the fucking, in the magic wizard, fucking Wizard of Oz box for the last two hours. Where the hell is our total? Like, how hard is this? I'm serious. How the fuck hard is this? It's it insane. Shouldn't it shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't. Like they- it shouldn't. It took us five hours. We were there at 9.30. We left at like 2.30, 3 o'clock. Yeah. Can we, go, can we go back to another thing really quick, too? Please. Right behind Ryan's head, do you see that speed goat he got? It's a fatty. He, he picked that thing out of, out, of, out of thin air. I did. Nice. I killed it. I basically ninja chopped it. <laughs> I secretly it. walked up and ninja chopped it. I like it. I like it. Big fan of like, speakers. <laughs> <laughs> Again, though, I, I that's what I want to vent about is the conversation of if somebody can simplify the process to buy a vehicle, a boat, a <clears throat> something without it taking five hours, they that's will change a, the game. That's the name of the game now. They'll change the game. People make on the, that same note. If fucking you out of your time. If if Bernie really wanted to win, Oof. all he would all he would have to say is like, no more insurance. But the doctors have to tell you you are going to pay this amount for this. If if you could get somebody to tell you, 
exactly what your medical bills are going to cost. It doesn't matter how expensive they are. If you just tell us what we're going to pay, that, that would win. Well, but it's also kind of like what he's actually planning. He's just wrong because it doesn't work that way. Uh, no, well, it don't because there's too many regulations into what they can do. Right. Well, that's my point. Is that's kind of Bernie's plan, which is he, dumb. He's right but, on like, the problem. He's wrong on the works. solution. That's that's how Bernie typically works. He's right on the problem. I know. He's I know. Wrong I know. On the like, solution. And the worst part about it is, like, I like the guy because uh, that he's he stood behind his same values forever. They're just fucking retarded. No, he has no idea how like, economics work. No, they're fucking retarded. My my question in general with Bernie Sanders is is it is a constitutional rehaul. Yeah. Oh, like uh, literally, yeah. it oh, is yeah. it, it is an absolute gut fish of of everything that America stand. Stood and I, I think you're being very fucking modest. It's not a rehaul. It's a fuck. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because a rehaul is very a generous term, but that's yeah. not what he's actually doing. No, and yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm being fairly, uh, ter- and it's terrible to be saying this politically correct with Bernie Sanders because it makes me want to vomit saying that. Yeah. Um, right. That 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 being said, uh, I, I'm not worried about Bernie Sanders. He, the New Hampshire pieces of it of it is, dude. His he's from Maine. That makes sense. He's but, gonna but, win New Hampshire. Yeah. Whatever. But we already know it's a it's a it's a. It's a it's a, it's a jerk off session on top of a Indian style on top of a refrigerator. Which like I, I told this to Matt before, but I was like, <laughs> Trump's gonna win again. It's like in a landslide. It's so but correct. the Democratic Party literally just again, like they did the first time, they're giving it to him again. Yeah, they what? are. They did it once and they on never learned, and they're no. doing it again. And if he wasn't such a puss, he might actually oh. give Trump a, a run for his money. I he's agree. A puss. I, he I a 100% puss. agree. No, no, no. How much he said that he's a democratic socialist, that's all Trump needs to run on. Well, Bloomberg. Well, and, the and, here, and here's the problem is, is, is people. But stop and frisk. What they don't understand oh, is like, they're like they go off the polls, the polls, the polls. What they don't understand is the most of America that are behind Trump do not get involved with the polls. No. And that's I've, I've never like, taken a survey ever. And I am no. like, I'm a, a political nerd. Like Ryan, I, Ryan did. Ryan yeah, took nobody has survey. asked me what I feel. Nobody. Ryan, Ryan took a survey today. Ryan, what do you so, what do you I didn't take a survey today. I got a text message from Michael Bloomberg. Oh, nice. And uh uh, I sent it to Tim and it <laughs> so actually, it, it, well, it originated, I believe from the burn and daylight fucking, uh, from the page basically saying, I'd rather cough in a Chinese or no, I'd, I'd I shared a, that I'd one. I'd rather have a Chinese person cough in my mouth and vote for fucking Michael Bluebird. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. I um, saw it on there and I'll put where it, up I originated on the, it from on the page. And it was beautiful. And Tim, I don't know if I can't, I don't, I don't know how to show my text message to the group, but I texted it to Tim earlier. So I'm in this, I'm in this dealership and this dude, I get this. You would think that Michael Bloomberg and all this bullshit would understand like who's voting for who? Like I'm not an independent by any means. Yeah, no. I was shocked. So I told my, I looked at my wife. I was like, "Oh, they just opened up the floodgates. Let's do this. Let's do this." And I've actually, I'm, uh, I've been a registered independent for eight years. I think. So, on on your ballot, then on the new one, from my understanding, last year the they made um, government pass this whole ordeal where the primaries you can vote in the primaries, and the primaries are. You get one ballot. It's Democratic Party, Republican Party, but you get one election each. You get one election. Is yeah. that correct? Yep. It's it for, is, but uh, I still don't because Bobby's in Kansas, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just a Colorado thing, man. Yeah, Colorado. You get you get both uh, 
primary things, but you can only vote on one one person. Yeah. So basically, like I'm literally out <clears throat> on any primary. Like I do not. Yeah, vote you on. have to be registered with uh, with a party in Kansas. Same in Nevada. So I'm actually registered, Democrat which is dumb because right I'm now. basically. Well, actually, I'm not. I'm not even independent. I'm. I'm. I'm registered unaffiliated. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm I, more, I, just, I just don't vote. Which I know. I always voted. Oh, wait, wait, you don't vote? I always did until I got so fucking sick and tired of this bullshit. I was like, well, yeah. I'm not on either side. I'm both sides. I actually agree with both sides. Robbie, so, I'm going to go out to Kansas and smack you in the head. Bitch, try me. <laughs> <laughs> I will fucking wreck your world. I am. I am much more, much more libertarian than anything. And and that and that's that, that's where I'm at. Is I'm libertarian. So wait, wait, Ryan. Ryan called my ass out on libertarian. How long ago? Libertarian's the way to go. You I, called me. You called me out. Okay, I'm intrigued to hear what you say. I want to know who are you voting for on this one, dude. How's your how's your economy doing? How's your oh, stock doing? It's been great. No, I know what I'm voting how's for. My, how's my Roth IRA doing? Pretty fucking good. Oh, I don't give a flying fuck about everything else. All, All I right. care about the economy and what goes back in my pocket. Hey, hey, Tim, he's voting for Trump. Well, there you yeah, go. I am too. <laughs> All of us are. How do you not? Matt's not. But Matt's I, not. I, but. I, I, I vote, vote for a candidate. If there was a if there was a better candidate, I would vote for a better Agreed. candidate. I'm right there with you, man. But I did you see the Trump Republican? The did you see the, the Republican yeah. the primary? Like who? Right. Who, There's not a who, better candidate. So who the fucking, fuck is is is, is Woggy Zogberg or whatever the fuck? Yeah. Is yeah. So yeah. That Bill so Wells so and yeah, Joe Walsh's cousin. We're voting for okay. okay. I'm not saying Trump's the best candidate. He's, He's the best candidate right now. Yeah, my point. Point. And that's right. what it's that's, that's, yeah, Okay, so it's, it's no point. Yeah. That's, that's and, the, and here's, yeah. here's what I've told Tim for the longest time. We have 330 million people in the United States of America. How the oh. fuck do we not find somebody better than Donald Trump? Right? Yeah, that, that's actually the, probably the most interesting thing. How do it we really not find is. somebody better? It like, really is. How, how is there not one better candidate? Uh, but the best thing about him is like he's not a fucking establishment person. That's why. He, that, that, wow. Yeah. And Gary Johnson. He, that's what that he cost Trump half the votes. Okay, that's who Matt hard. voted for. That was Matt's election. McKinley, who'd you vote for? Gary Last Johnson. I just told you. election. Daryl yeah. Castle. Did I, well, did I stutter to him? No, Daryl Castle. He was Constitution Party. Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry, Tim. See, and I, I wish that they got more looks. I feel like I feel like our generation, and tell me if you guys agree with this or not. I feel like our generation at some point in the next 20 years is gonna change the political realm. That's gonna change mm -hmm. it to the point where we actually look at politics as an entirety instead of fucking how it's improving their best uh, you know, what's in their best interest. It's going, I think, I think so. Gonna yeah, work for I, us. I, I, I would hope I'm that. with you on that, but I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be a three-party system. The, the yeah, my point, my point. But the difference right. is, is that there's a there's so much knowledge out there than there was when our parents were coming. Through. Right, because we can't we, we can so much more knowledge. Google anything. My point. Yep. Right. That's right. where the that's where that third party, no, I'm that with libertarian you. party has lacked. Well, yeah. I think I used to think it was going to be the Republicans that split, but now it's I think it's the Democrats. You've got the the far left, uh, like the AOCs of the world mm -hmm. that that Fuck. pushed this whole impeachment narrative. And that oh, is I want to vomit. It, but, uh, he, but he, you know what I think on that is, is though they've gone so far south. They're also like separating all the people they should be looking at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because here's well, they, the deal, I, I I know some very good friends of mine. They've been uh, they've uh, third generation farmers, and they voted for Hillary. And yeah. they are from my small town. What was the reasoning? But they won't do it again. But what was the reasoning? 
because they thought Hillary, because trust me, I fucking rid of them. They thought Hillary was the lesser of two evils. There's, there's some, wow. s- there's still, yeah, I know, some- I, I know, and I, and, wow. and it's been a debate, and we're very, it's like literally my best friend in the world. Him and his family voted for Hillary, and we've had this conversation a hundred times, and and you know he had points in the beginning. But we don't talk about it no more because he's got no more points. Yeah. <laughs> those, those points mm-hmm. are null and void. Yeah. Right. They don't make no sense no more. No more. No. And so we don't talk about it no more. Um, it's, that's interesting, man. Well, wow, that shocks me. To, to get it out in the ether sphere, uh, Hillary Clinton totally did not murder Jeffrey Epstein. No. <laughs> and, let me, and let me just restructure that a little bit. Hillary Clinton directly <laughs> <Clemson. laughs> I think she fucking hung him up. I've had daydreams about Hillary killing Hillary Clinton, not myself. Easy. <laughs> easy. Well, R.I.P. Tim. I don't know. God, easy. <laughs> hey, Tim. It was good knowing you. We're on air, bud. Goodbye, yeah. Tim. Bitch. Bye-bye, Knuckle. Hey, NSA, that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, dude, I've of. got like, I'm telling you, my buddy and his family have like, they're fourth generation farmers. Like, they voted for Hillary because they thought she was a lesser to be crazy. Evil. And then, so, and, and we've gotten huge fights over it, but they yeah, don't say I so don't much know. no more. If, like they, the now, like they won't talk about it now. The well, Republican like, Party has gone so annoyingly right, and the left has gone so annoyingly left. Well, and that's the problem. If yeah. so, you have people like me and Matt in the middle. Everyone going, "Oh, you guys are fucking crazy." Well, we're also we're just like, uh, you, they're not that different from each other. That's the same same. Well, the thing is, like they, they say they're too far right and they're too far left. No, they're all just too big government. That's the big part. Yeah, right. right. yeah but that, right. that's why and they go, well, you're crazy fucking libertarians. Yeah. Well, just fucking get out of the fuck my business. Stop fucking yep. worried about what I'm doing. How about you start worrying about what you're doing, right? Because that's that's basically the concept of libertarianism. McKinley, Stop. when I had to go after Aaron the other night. Yeah. <laughs> He was uh he was not happy about that. Well, he uh yeah, when you tagged me uh, in that uh in that argument you guys were having on his post, uh, yeah, I went off too. Because I was just <laughs> like, because he was like, John Bolton has to testify, and I was like, dude, Donald Trump should be impeached for inviting John Bolton into his cabinet. That dude has been wrong on every foreign policy decision for the last forty years. That yeah. that's why Trump should be impeached for he giving that to himself. Yeah, but, that yeah, given but that not, but not for why they power. wanted to. No, and so I was like, "Fuck!" I was like, "So fuck the Republicans, fuck the Democrats, fuck Donald Trump for allowing John Bolton to have that big of a role in his cabinet, and fuck the whole system because it's stupid." Well, and then of course it's like, "Well, so you're saying we should start over?" Well, yeah, yeah. No, no shit, yeah. dude. motherfucker! Yeah. Bugaloo, hashtag Bugaloo 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to show you my gun cabinet? <laughs> Jesus Christ! What it started with was Tim yelling at Aaron, saying, "Okay, everyone's fucked. If the uh, if the founding fathers saw what the America was now, they would never stop throwing up." And um, uh, the first thing we need to start with is term limits throughout congress and senate yeah and that's a good starting and point Aaron, Aaron no, but he's not he's not wrong there but that motherfucker is also wrong in everything else about the fucking country but then i said i said okay yeah all right aaron he he lost his mind about me saying that and then i was like all right i'm sicking matt on you and then all i got was the next day was text messages about how what the fuck is wrong with matt <laughs> really? <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know. A little bit of common sense. Some, uh, probably a little bit of history. 
Hang them all? Are you fucking yeah. kidding me? You want anarchy? I was like, that sounds better than what we got right now. Whatever. Yeah, I yeah, because I did. That was my last my last yes, uh, yes, line was right. just said, hang them all. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's what he's not understanding so is true. it's not pure not anarchy wrong. that we're after. It's just constitution, no. fucking politics. Yeah, it's I, not. I, I it's, a pure I energy, agree more, man. like that is actually kind of the goal. But Jesus Christ, is like we we can meet in the middle. Well, fuck, look, look at Antifa. Antifa. Look at Antifa. They get away Robbie with it. Robbie is right now, yeah. where he's looking at the ceiling all day. Oh, sorry. You just <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> guys. Tim wanted to see my face. I get it. No, I get it. <laughs> look no, at, look at Antifa, I'm dude. sorry, Antifa buddy. Here, away it. Hey, Here it is. Hey, guys. Before we go too much further, I'm going to go ahead and end the live stream. We're going to keep this thing rolling for for a while. But uh, I got a fresh whiskey, so like let's. Perfect. Yeah, let's, no, yeah. I'm going to make a whole can. other podcast out of this, but I'm just gonna I'm going to split it up. So uh, let me. Is this uh, brought to you by Loma Linda? Lots Loma Loma Livestock, Livestock you piece of shit. Hey, hey Matt, uh, Loma Livestock. Matt, are you going fingers on that beard, bud? Hey man, I uh, I've been working on this one for a little while. You know who Raleigh Figures is? Oh yeah. 